Hi everyone, Tony from Hack the Movies here, and we're finally doing it. Yes. Spawn! The live action Spawn movie! It's a hell of a film. Yes, it, yes it is. <laughs> Today on Talking About Tapes. Tapes, we're talk, talking, talk, talking, talking about tapes. Pedro, we finally did it. We finally did. We finally did it. The Spawn movie a while back, a few years back, actually, on Patreon. I had people vote yeah. on what rental reviews episode they would like to see me redo. Rental reviews? Yeah. Never heard of it. Uh, it was a show I used to be on. We actually reviewed Spawn on that, but the two people I reviewed it with, James and Justin, they weren't super familiar with the comics. Ah. I was dropping, like, deep lore. That <laughs> what I was talking you about. You were, like, over it, killer, and you're like... Who? They're like overkill. They go overt, overt kill. <laughs> T T. Yeah, and people voted on this. Yeah, and then it took me a really long time to get to it. Yeah, but uh, we finally do it, at Pedro. We're finally. doing the Spawn movie, and I. This should be a celebration, but I feel kind of bad. Um, this is Pedro's final episode. Yeah, guys, it's been a it's been a long road. It has. It has. Yeah. I'm. I mean. I wish you could stay. He accepted a job in Alaska. Yeah. So you're going up there. Actually, as soon as we're done recording, his uh, U-Haul's already packed yeah. and he's moving up there. Helicopter's right? going to come right outside, pick me up, <laughs> take me off. But no, I'm really sad because like we had a lot of good times on this show mm -hmm. and we'll talk about it toward the end. Yeah, but, um, exactly. It's a bittersweet moment, uh, but let's try to enjoy this film while you're here. One last review for Pedro. One last review. <sighs> I'm still, still hurting about it. Still hurting about mm -hmm. it. But anyway. Spawn. 1997. 1997, based <laughs> off the comic. comic. Now, Spawn was huge in the 90s. Of course. Image Comics was blowing up. Mm -hmm. It eventually had some issues. Image Comics is fine now. They survived. Yeah. <laughs> they got a little overly ambitious, mm -hmm. if you don't remember. Uh, that was where a bunch of artists and whatnot who were fed up with Marvel and DC Jim were Lee. like, we'll make our own. Yeah. Rob uh, Liefeld. Yeah, Rob Liefeld. Uh, who was there? Jeff, was Jeff Johns in there? No, I think he was. I don't think so. No, I'm thinking Jim Lee. I think yeah, Jim, Jim Lee, Lee went left. there. Yeah. And of course, Todd McFarlane. Todd McFarlane, the big. Those were the big three. Those were big. Those were big. And Todd McFarlane, of course, like, you know, created Venom or at least designed Design. Venom. When you think of Venom, you think of like his art. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, he was a great artist. He really helped with uh, like Spider Man. Yeah. Um, the 90s run. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, or like the 80s run, I think. I think late nine, late, late I think 80s. he came back, obviously. Yeah, but yeah, I think yeah, yeah. late 80s is where he was like, he did a lot of iconic uh, looks for Spider-Man. Yeah, exactly. It's like that one cover with Venom that he's he's over Spider-Man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or there's that the shot of like Spider-Man on the floor with like all the webs coming yeah, out of yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, they decided to make their own company mm -hmm. and make their own comic books. And Spawn was the big one. Yeah. Spawn did really, really well. I loved Spawn as a kid. I only had a few of the comics. Uh, but when I was like a kid, like around mm. the time the movie came out and everything, yeah. like I was like learning the internet. How old were you? Like 30 something? <sighs> Normally that upset me, but knowing <laughs> that's probably the last time I'm going to hear you make that joke on the show. It's, it's <sighs> I'm allowing, I'm yeah. allowing you, Pedro, no, you. for your, your final episode. No, I will but... allow old shaming on the final <laughs> Pedro episode. Um, well, yeah. How so old, how old were you actually? Well, yeah. So 97, I would have been like seven. This came out August. August? Yes, the cartoon came out a few months before. Okay. Um, so I was but, a month old. <laughs> Let that put that into perspective. So you mi you missed that initial spawn. <laughs> yeah. Hype. Oh man. Um, do you think your sister, if she was here right now, yeah. I'd ask her, But do you think your sister ever like read Spawn or watched no? Spawn? She was two, so she was a baby. <sighs> okay, I I didn't know how old she was. I thought yeah. maybe like she did like Spawn, but no. doing so much drugs might have yeah. erased those memories. She was a crack addict, like Limp Bizkit. Gone too soon. Yeah. Rest in peace. R.I.P. Pedro's sister. Yeah. I'll Sorry think... to bring that up on your final no, episode. No, it's fine. She's up there with the angels in Alaska. I know. I know. Look, usually I'm not for the death penalty. Yeah. And I know she's your sister, but it was deserved in this case. Oh, 100%. Anyway, anyway, after all the horrible things she yeah. did. But anyway, anyway. She's probably with Spawn. She might be coming back as a Spawn. She might become She Spawn. <sighs> well, I don't think she would be woke. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, so I would, like, just go on the internet, go to Tom McFarlane's web, or yeah. Spawn. I would just, like, look up pictures of, like, the comics yeah. and, like, read the synopsis they had there. And the toys were huge. Yeah. Now, famously, all of these toys on set, the only ones that are actually mine originally are the uh -huh. two little ones over there okay. and the movie Violator. <laughs> these up here are mine that I actually bought. Yeah. Uh, all the other ones were given to me by Chola Scola. 
Okay. When he said, do you want some spawns? This is now a famous <laughs> moment in Tony lore. And I went, sure. And he gave me three giant boxes of McFarland figures. So I actually reviewed all these toys on peg warmers. Oh, yeah. Uh, I review these on peg warmers. Go back and check that channel out. If you want to know more about these toys here. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I was into the toys. The movie came out mm -hmm. it was geared more toward a younger audience, which yeah. worked for me at the time. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, eventually the spawn comics, I love them. Mm -hmm. The early ones are a little rough. You've yeah. read them. Yeah. They're a little wordy. A lot yeah. of dialogue. <laughs> yeah, at some point, Tom McFarland had like other people kind of take yeah, uh, the ropes. See, this. like the writing, and like okay, yeah, and the writing gets a little bit more simplified yeah, exactly. afterwards. Um, but it's a cool idea. Yeah. So the premise is a guy dies, he makes a deal with a devil, a devil. not the devil, yeah, exactly, uh, to lead Hell's army, and mm -hmm. he gets sent back to Earth with no memories. No initially. memories. Initially, has no memories, just mm -hmm. glimpses. And he has to learn to use his powers and stuff, and eventually he will return to hell to lead the armies of hell against heaven. Yep. Uh, but then he's, like, discovering who he is, mm -hmm. remembering who he is. Uh, it's been five years. Mm -hmm. His wife is now sleeping with his best friend. Which is crazy. Uh, there's a lot of stuff he has to learn about his suit and yep. his powers. They famously gave him a, a, a ticker. Yeah, the like necroplasm. Yeah, necroplasm. So eventually, if he uses all his powers, mm -hmm. he will eventually die. die. Go back to hell and yeah. then have to lead the army. Mm -hmm. uh, so he has to. That was actually clever. Yeah. So he has all this infinite powers, but like he can't use them too much. Exactly. So he has to figure out ways around it. One mm -hmm. of those ways is using a lot of guns. guns. <laughs> eventually, they screwed it up in the comics because mm -hmm. they. What is it? He he eventually can eat worms. Yeah. It's something along those lines. Like, dark beasts, like worms and insects can replenish his suit. Yeah. And he has, like, a dumpster full of worms. <laughs> and I'm like, what the fuck? Are you going to think <laughs> of anything else? Like, yeah. What if he kills, like, a demon and takes their energy or something? Yeah, why couldn't it be, like, he, like, could, like, kind of, like, Ghost Rider, like, he consumes the soul? Yeah, something, something like that. Because like there, there is that comment where the, he, when he first fights Violator, Mount yeah. Bubbles just shows up. Yeah, he stops the fight because they're both equally balanced. Yeah, which... I don't know if I'm right. Like, the TV show did it better. We're like, let's not really show Mal Bolgia. Like, yeah. let's build up to it. But yeah, exactly. Todd McFarland's like, no, here's the main he's, bad guy. And he's just showing up in an yeah, alley. He shows up and he's like, his belly's all he's like, hello. Yeah. Guys. <laughs> it's like, what are you doing? But he gives, he like replenishes them. Yeah, exactly. Uh, but yeah, so that was like a cool uh, element of the character. Mm -hmm. And yeah, they're just real interesting stories. Eventually, they kind of, he got more focused on toy stuff. Yeah. I guess other artists and creators mm -hmm. left. Uh, but 97 was the big year. It was still going hot. Cartoon, movie. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, they got uh, Mark A.Z. to direct this. <laughs> uh, he and um, one of the guys was still with ILM, so ILM worked on this. Mm -hmm. But uh, he was an effects guy. Okay. And a bunch of people involved in this film were effects dudes for ILM. Okay. Their production company was called Band from the Ranch. <laughs> Because uh, they explained in the director's commentary, they were walking around Skywalker Ranch, uh -huh. and they just found a room where they were smoking cigars, and they didn't realize all of Skywalker Ranch is, like, wired, and, wow. like, their whole conversation was being recorded, and I think they were just shit-talking people, so they got banned from Skywalker Ranch, like, That's Lucas's I people did not banned them, <laughs> so they named the production of Brand from Ranch. <laughs> So they decided to go all in on special mm -hmm. effects for this film. And you can really tell. You can really tell. Yeah, you can they really went tell. All out. It was going to be a 20 something million dollar budget. It ended up going to 40 million. They used that 40 million. That's for sure. They got a little bit extra, but they had to sacrifice some stuff. I'll talk about that when we get to that particular scene. And of course, this was written by. The wonderful, we've actually reviewed a lot of his films now. Alan B. McElroy, who did Halloween 4, The Return oh. of Michael Myers. Wrong Turn. The new Wrong Turn. Oh. And of course, the movie that I did an episode on that everyone watched, Tekken. Did you know there was a live action Tekken movie? I do, yeah. Now, it turns, I, out I a, saw it. turns out a lot of people didn't know. <laughs> Oof. So that episode did too well. It was so bad that the creator of the game decided to be like yeah, i'm gonna just do my own movie i'm gonna do my own animated yeah i'm gonna do my own and that was bad too <laughs> it appears that nobody knows how to make a fighting game movie. that's like uh we talked about in the thing prequel where mm -hmm. those guys effects were replaced with cgi yeah. and they're like we'll make our own movie oh, it was yeah. a harbinger down and then it's like oh, this movie isn't that good either <laughs> like, the effects are nice but you kind of made it just another weak movie <laughs> you traded one for the other and it yeah. didn't work out 
Um, K and B did the practical makeup effects. Okay. You know, guys do like Walking Dead and yeah. a bunch of films. Um, makeup effects look good in this. Mm -hmm. Stars Michael Jai White. This Who you have a connection with because he was in The Dark Knight. Oh, I was going to say Toxic Avenger. Was also in Toxic Adventure yeah. Two. I yeah, think, too. Right? He was a, the, one of the executives, and he was in Kill Bill Volume Two, but got cut out. Never seen Kill Bill. No. Yeah. Well, I guess spoiler for the scene that's not in the movie. They flash back oh, to when like, Bill and the bride were like dating, and oh. a gang in like Japan fights them, and they're led by uh, Michael Jai White. And I think they're <laughs> poorly dubbed because of the flashback. Oh, okay. It's actually a fun scene for whatever reason they didn't include it in the film. Um. I like Michael Jai White. Oh, yeah. Uh, he's great in, all, in Tyler Perry's. He's in all, huh? He's great in Tyler Perry's. Is he really? Yeah, he's great in Tyler Perry's. Uh, he, uh, he's in a lot of bad movies these yeah, days. Yeah, he is. I reviewed one of them for Patreon, The Chain of Command. Oh, my God. Starring Stone Cold Steve Austin. <laughs> <laughs> he was also in a movie called Crooked Man. Never heard of it. You ever see The Conjuring 2? Yeah. You remember The Crooked Man in that? Yeah. Okay, well, apparently that's like a public domain thing. So they were going to make a Conjuring Crooked Man movie, and I guess okay. they took too long. It's now been canceled. <laughs> so some, like, direct video thing was like, oh, fuck it, it's public domain. We'll do our own Crooked Man. We'll beat him to the punch. And Michael Shaw likes it. He's on the cover and everything. He's maybe <laughs> in five minutes of that movie. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, but, yeah, he apparently doesn't like this movie, I learned. Yeah. He shits on it the, the moment anyone mentions why. it. Yeah. I mean, I actually, I do know why. A lot of, like... His big character building stuff is yeah, cut, cut out, out of the film yeah. and turned into just brief flashbacks. Same with Wanda. I got mm. a whole problem with that. Okay. Uh, but yeah, um, what's his face? Uh, Martin Sheen is in it. Yeah. As Wynn. Yeah. Jason, Jason Wynn. Uh, and he uh, he did it because his kids, oh, basically. Okay. He's like, hey, they want me to do something called Spawn. They're okay. like, Spawn? Although in the uh, special features, he's like, I heard they had the guys from like Jurassic Park working on this. <laughs> it's going to look just like Jurassic Park. Actually, the guy who animated the T-Rex okay. did the violator on mm. this, and that's like the best looking thing in the yeah. movie, but everything else in the yeah, movie. Yeah, exactly. When I see Malboja, I'm like, oh, that's bad. Yeah, Malboja's like, weak. Everything in hell is weak. A lot of the cartoony stuff is weak. Um, one of the producers of The Mask worked on this. Could Ooh. you tell? No, I could not. When, when the clown had his eyes bulging yeah. out, it, it didn't remind you of The Mask. No, it did not. I was like, original idea right there. <laughs> Pedro's a little shocked. We reviewed Son of the Mask. Yeah. A while a while ago. Yeah. That was a rough time. Yeah, that was, that was a rough time. Jamie Kennedy can do no harm. <laughs> no, he did. He did a lot of harm in that movie. I mean. <laughs> uh, but something. go back and watch that episode. We talk yeah. about how, like, the because Jamie Kennedy uh, interviewed the director and how, like, the studio took over. We go all into it in the Son of yeah, the Mask yeah, episode. Yeah. Uh, that's probably one of the best episodes yeah. we're ever in. Yeah. We're ever in. Almost as good as Deep Impact. Deep that Impact. That was good. Okay, yeah. The that was Asteroid good one. one yeah. yeah. That was the one that came out the same time as Armageddon. Yeah. I like Armageddon more. I don't know why you like Deep Impact more, but we, we talked about it in that episode. We got to go. Watch a Patreon for that episode. <laughs> oh, yeah. That was a Patreon yeah. one. Yeah. Let's keep going. Uh, but yeah. Um, oh, John Leguizamo plays Clown. The best Puerto Rican that has ever known. All right. Let's get into this film. All let's right. get into this film, which I. Saw when I was seven. I made my mom and grandfather take me to see this movie. Oh my it goodness. Probably my favorite movie of 1997. I got real upset. I rented this so much that they were like, we're just buying it for you. Yeah. I got the director's cut. Oh, wow. You want to know what's different in the director's cut? Yes. Not much. Just huh. a little bit more violent. Okay. The scene where he's on fire, you yeah. get to see his horribly superimposed face on okay. the stuntman. Mm -hmm. And uh, some of the clown jokes are put oh, okay. back in. That's it. That's more vulgar, of... like kind of like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if the donut where he squeezes the donut and the cream comes out is in the theatrical cut. No, it wasn't. Okay, it's in this one. Okay. It's little stuff like that. It's okay. like not that big of a deal. All right. It starts with exposition from Cagliastro. The battle between the darkness and the light has waged eternal. Who is played by, uh, I think his name is James Nichol. He was the yeah. priest in Exorcist 3. His last film before he died. Yes. Yes. Did, did he uh, do it for his kids too or no? Huh? Did he do it for his kids? I don't know who he did this for. <laughs> I don't know who he did this for. Although we have a Wolverine situation because Cogliostro in the comics is tiny. Oh. And this guy's a giant. Yeah, exactly. It's like Hugh Jackman. <laughs> like, <laughs> like Wolverine. He's famously known for being short. All yeah. the X-Men make Five, fun of him for being short. Like that. Yeah, give us a six foot giant. Like, yeah. oh, I, I think we've seen it. Get an Australian up. guy. He's <laughs> The funny thing is, they had a different Australian guy. Yeah, that guy got, got Mission stuck. Impossible too. Yeah, that guy got stuck doing reshoots. So like, all right, get us another yeah. Australian guy. Um, so yeah, uh, he's given the exposition about the war between heaven and hell. Mm -hmm. He's like, Malbolgia is 
sending his uh, demons to Earth to manipulate people, and yep. they're going to corrupt people, and he needs a soldier to lead his army. And it's like, that was a lot of information. Thank you for yep. bringing us up to speed. <laughs> uh, let me see Al Simmons. Michael Jai White. Michael Jai White. Shows up in his ninja outfit, yeah. spy gear. He comes in. He kills everyone at air traffic control in Hong Kong. Mm -hmm. Just murders them. Just straight up, like, kicks the one guy, shoots the other guy. He he's shoots like, all of them. And I, I bring it up because it's a little inconsistent with the scene that's coming up. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, he kills everyone in that control room. Mm -hmm. And then he uh, gets ready to arm a rocket launcher. Yeah. He's going to shoot some foreign leader. Yeah. Some, like, Arab dude. I don't know. Amit Far, Joseph or something like that. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Uh, he's gonna kill him as his mm -hmm. jet is uh, landing. Uh, so yeah, he shoots it off. I like uh, the effect is cool, like the rocket yeah, plates up in the off. floor, and then it cuts to that X. It looks like oh, the uh, the the X ray screen for the jet. It looks like uh, the guns from a racer. Did you ever see a racer? Oh okay, with Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we were supposed to review that one, but you got sick that day. <laughs> um, I would say let's do a racer finally, yeah. but fucking you're gonna be in Alaska. Maybe I can come up and we'll do some Alaska yeah. movies. I think there is a movie Eternals. called... What? Eternals. Is that in Alaska? There's a moment in Alaska. I, a movie... Eternals review, coming soon. A movie based in Alaska. You pick a movie that has a scene in Alaska. It, it has uh, Selma Hayek's in there, and she's in Alaska. And Judy she Eternal, my favorite yeah, Eternal. She, yeah. Can you name all the Eternals? We're not doing that bit again. I all actually right. could. <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so yeah, he shoots the rocket, it kills mm -hmm. them. Oh, and Cogliostro is there. In a horrible green screen. <laughs> yeah. <he's> like, Just like... <laughs> I don't know why he was in Hong Kong. Yeah, exactly. Why are you here? Yeah, he's just there. He's just there. And then it's like green sprite over him. He's like, oh, yeah. he's there. To let you know that he's magic. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, they, they do that a lot. They'll just add green glowy yeah. effects. Just, just let you know, like, no, he's a magic guy. Um, so he kills him, mm -hmm. Al unmasks, and he blows up the tower. Yep. And then uh, we get more narration. Mm -hmm. Cagliostro is like, I used to be a soldier for God, yep. but turns out he doesn't really like killing, <laughs> especially in his name. So I went to hell. Yep. He's like, but I freed my soul, which is kind of the Cagliostro story. Yeah. Spoiler. If you buy, if you want to buy the early Spawn comics, get the newer volumes. Mm -hmm. Because my volume one and two is when he was still going through legal battles. Oh, with, okay. Uh, who's the guy who created them? Neil Gaiman? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So yeah. I don't have the first Cogliostro issue. Okay. And I also don't have the two issues where he goes to heaven and fights Angela. Ah. Because they were still like the the, the, the characters are still being disputed. But yeah. the newer prints have those original issues. Okay. Um, but yeah, Cogliostro was kind of like his. The angel on his shoulder yeah, exactly. was clown was the devil, which devil. is what they try yeah. to do with this. But I yeah. think in the comics. I, when I was reading, I don't know if I have the issues, but mm -hmm. I think he, like, it, it was like, a long con for Cagliostro where he just wanted to take over hell. And he, yeah. like, becomes a bad guy at some point. Yeah, that's what you want. Oh, that's kind of fun. I'm mentoring you and helping you, but really. I just, I'm just going to back up. Everyone's basically. just using Spawn. Exactly. Apparently. I don't they, know if I like that twist. I kind of like the other yeah. stuff. I kind of wish for this movie they would have just made him medieval Spawn. Yeah. Just merge those two characters. Exactly. I don't know why they didn't do that, but that's an issue with the end. Yeah. Um... So yeah, he was like, I was fought in like the Crusades and whatnot, mm. uh, and I'm gonna help this guy. And then we get a title sequence that Oof. goes on and on and on in horrible lettering, huh? In horrible lettering, like yeah, you can't really tell like, what's what it's saying. It? It's very grungy. <laughs> yeah, now, this is late '90s. This yeah. is like toward the end of grunge. It was still going on though. It was I still think, going. I on. think the opening's done by Marilyn Manson. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, just I remember even in the theater, like my grandfather being like, how long is this? <laughs> Cause it like goes, it goes and the music gets quiet. You're like, yeah. okay, the movie's going to start. And then it goes, starts up again. Beer, beer, but it's like, what is this? Am I going to hell? <laughs> By the way, that fire tunnel to hell, they will show seven so many thousand times. times. <laughs> at some point I was like, now at the bottom left, it's like loading. <laughs> <laughs> it's a loading, it's a loading screen to the next scene. It's like, let's go. <laughs> Last night, last night when I was watching this, I'm like, oh, I can fast forward this. I've yeah, seen exactly. this movie seven million times. I know what's happening here. <laughs> um, let me see here. Okay. Then, this is a deep cut for comic fans. Uh, we'll talk about it throughout the whole episode, but afterwards, if you want to know about the deep lore in this, I do have a video, an old video on this mm -hmm. channel, because uh, I brought this up when I initially reviewed mm -hmm. on rental reviews. And James and Justin just stared at me because I didn't <laughs> read the comics and didn't care. So I cut all that out yeah. and I did a video on my channel 
about like the deep cuts. Mm -hmm. The reporter, the lady reporter in this oh, yeah. is one of the three reporters that you constantly see in the comics. Oh yeah. It's always, she's like the neutral reporter. Yeah. Then there's the entertainment guy. And then there's the opinion, like, political dude. Yeah. He actually has a cameo in this. Did you catch it? No, I did not. Uh, I'll mention when okay. he shows up. Uh, so, yeah, they actually made her kind of a character yeah. in this. I was like, oh, that's like a... I didn't know that as a kid until I bought all the comics with yeah. Reed. I'm like, oh, wow, I didn't realize she was in this. They throw a lot of weird characters yeah. in this movie with non-speaking roles. There's one that's, like, in your face is, like... Yeah, uh, the one at the end or the one at the party scene? The one at the party scene. Yeah, the one at the party scene I got a real big issue with. Yeah. Because <laughs> um, that character is a little bit asleep at the wheel when it comes yeah. to what her job is. Uh, but yeah, so we see her talking about the attack that happened. Mm -hmm. um, 26 people killed. <laughs> it's like, yeah. Okay. <laughs> and then Wynn is like, ha ha, <laughs> Al <laughs> is great and I'm working. <laughs> He's like. Damn, that boy is good at killing. <laughs> like, okay. <laughs> By the way, he look. They did a good job making him look like Win. He yeah. doesn't really act like Win, yeah. really. Uh, but yeah, he's just like, what a good job. Yeah. And the bio weapons work, and then we see Clown. They hit Clown mm -hmm. in the dark. Yeah. For this first scene, which I thought was pretty interesting. Mm -hmm. Uh, so Wynn's just working with Hell. Yeah. Right away. I don't know if that was a thing. I need. I didn't get to reread all of them. No, I don't think so. I think they're manipulating yeah, him, yeah. obviously. But I, mean, I don't think he's, like, in league with them. Yeah, he's not, like, exactly talking to the clown. He's, yeah, he's again, like... guys, I, I didn't have time to... I'm a very busy man. I didn't have time to go through all of these again. Yeah. I read them year... I read... Last time I read all the comics was when I was doing the AVGN stuff. Um, so, yeah, he's working with them. Uh, I guess he has a deal with Hell. Well, they'll give him Earth yeah. if he helps them defeat Heaven. I feel like that's a bad plan. Yeah. But, you know, whatever. Um, so yeah they're talking about their plan and then the clown's like oh hey uh we're from the bus you gotta kill simmons yeah he's like oh, he's my best guy what are you he's doing my number one <laughs> what are you doing he's like he's, he's my number one guy <laughs> yeah, i was about to do that same thing <laughs> pedro you were my number one guy thanks man you had to go accept that job <laughs> at the gay factory in alaska i don't know why you had to work there but whatever pay more money it pays more money than yeah. this, which is nothing. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> they pay me $1. So yeah, he tells him to kill Simmons. Mm -hmm. uh, and he's like, all right, I guess I'll do it. Mm -hmm. I don't really want to, but all right. And then uh, we meet Terry. Yeah. Terry Fitzgerald, who yep. is also the name of the producer of this movie. Yeah. I think uh, just Todd McFarlane just named characters after people he yeah. liked. Yeah, there's, uh, there's like... Uh... There's someone on in the in the opening that's Spaz. Spaz, yeah. yeah, yeah. I was so like, they named the huh. dog after him. <laughs> Um, now, as someone who read the comics okay. and whatnot, Terry, yeah. did they make any big changes to Terry for this movie? Not that I know. I could be wrong. Well, in the comics, he's a very black man. In the movie, they made him a very white man. <laughs> you know, <laughs> this... Oh, you don't see race, though, Pedro, Yeah, I don't see right? color, all right? You don't see color. I'm, I'm colorblind. <laughs> so you didn't notice that the black guy with, like, kind of cherry curls in the comics you is know... now the whitest man ever? <laughs> I, uh... <laughs> This would not happen today. No. This would not happen today. Apparently, the Tom McFarland says, like, because they had uh, Al, they mm. had uh, Wanda in there. Yeah. He was afraid, the studio was afraid that the movie would be a black film. Because they're like, oh, we don't want to target it to just African Americans. We want to target it to everyone. So make his black make friend a white, white guy. guy. <laughs> Which, again... Would ne the opposite would happen mm -hmm. these days where Wind would be black and the clown yeah, would be exactly. everyone. <laughs> you know who originally was going to play Terry? Who? Uh, Edward Norton. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. ZB Sweeney does kind of look like Ed Norton, yeah. but yeah, Ed Norton did not need to be no. a supporting character and spawn at mm -mm. this point. He's about to do like, no, that would have been bad for Ed yeah, Norton. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Interesting though. Uh, but this is our first uh, scene with Wanda. Mm-hmm. Who has a clown? Did you notice it? Yeah, I saw it too. I was like, huh. The clown air freshener yeah. makes no sense. And she's like, hey, make sure Al comes back. Now, here's the problem Spawn is always doing stuff for Wanda. Mm -hmm. That's like his whole character he thing. He lives and dies for Wanda. Yes. And I mean, in the comics, it's interesting because he has amnesia. Mm -hmm. and that's like one of the things that helps him learn his memory or his yeah. feelings for Wanda. But like in this movie, we. Because the movie is showing before all that happens. Mm -hmm. The comics start, all that stuff is happening. Yeah, exactly. It's already happened. So it's like, okay, if you're going to do that, let's see him be with Wanda mm -hmm. so we know how much he loves her and everything. And, like, all those scenes are cut. Yeah. They're they're cut, and then they're trimmed down and used as flashbacks, flashbacks later. But, like, like, there's a moment where he's, like, in bed with her. Like, he's, like, yeah. shirtless. I'm like, 
What's the answer? Yeah, see what's happening. Yeah, and then there's one where she's like, yeah, every time you go there, you come back different. And what yeah. I'm like, oh, we should probably have seen some of their relationship because I'm thinking about it. Other than those flashbacks mm -hmm. and the one scene where he says her name, they don't interact at, at all. all. Especially at the end where they should have like a moment. Yeah, so she's like, just like, okay, let's go. So oh. it's hard where like the whole character motivation is his love for this woman mm -hmm. and we never really see that relationship other than yeah. quick snippets. It's like it's, when you first see her, she comes out and she's like, uh, and Terry's like, he's always late. You should yeah. get him a watch. And it's like, there should have been a scene where she's like, Terry's waiting for you or something. He's like, yeah, oh, something nice. like that. <laughs> yeah. And again, we saw that they shot those scenes. Yeah, exactly. They exist. I'm like, you probably sh sh like, I'm not believing in any of this. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, he's like, all right, I'll I'll get him in line. Mm -hmm. Terry tells Al that he killed innocent people. Yeah, exactly. And he looks very upset. I'm like, well, were the air traffic control people not innocent? Yeah, were I'm they? pretty sure. <laughs> pretty Secretly. sure those guys were innocent. <laughs> Secretly, they were drug traffickers. Oh, they were they? It. Yeah, it was the extra opening. <laughs> Are they working for your sister? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> In 97? Probably. She started early. Yeah. Her life of crime <laughs> Came out the womb early. smoking. <laughs> anyway. Rest in peace. R.I.P. Rest, rest in peace. Too gone. Well, maybe not in peace. You're yeah. a terrible person. You She's deserve. fun. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine if she was here right now, the faces she would make off camera. <laughs> oh, my <Anyway>. goodness. <laughs> I think she's sticking the finger from heaven. Oh, oh whoa. <laughs> heaven. Why oh, would she be in hell. heaven? <laughs> I think I see it on there. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I installed a fireplace here. The fireplace <laughs> conveniently is a yeah. portal to hell, I learned. Any fire will just take you yeah, to hell. exactly. Because hell is fire. Nothing because, else. <laughs> because the imagination of the people in this movie is mm -hmm. a five-year-old's depiction. What of does hell look like? Fire. fire. Oh, okay. Because it's in the ground. Yeah, it's <laughs> underground. That's where lava is. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, yeah, I bet that was, like, inconsistent to me. I'm like, were those guys innocent? Because you yeah. killed them. Um, so he's upset about it. And then mm. they drive past Cogliostro. Yeah, he's like, and he glows oh. green. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like the neighbor outside. Honey, there's a weird guy glowing <laughs> again. I get it's for the audience. Yeah, exactly. But why did he chose choose to glow green in broad daylight in front of yeah, everyone? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Just, oh, I'm green. <laughs> uh. Um, honey, he's back again. Get him out of here. <laughs> so they enter the A6 agency, mm. and he tells Win, he's like, "I'm upset that I killed innocent people." He's like, "The air traffic control guys? No, the family that happened to be there. My mission. <laughs> My mission. They were innocent." <laughs> I like uh, Win's scorpion ashtray. Oh yeah, that thing's cool. <laughs> yeah. That thing's cool. Okay, Jessica Priest. Mm -hmm. I forgot to write her name down. The girl from the OC, Madeline Clark, I think. Yes, uh, or Melinda Clark. Melinda. That's Melinda what it was. Clark. From the OC and Return of the Living Dead Part 3. Never seen them. And some other movies. Nope. Um, she was invented for the movie. Yep. She's taking the place of Chapel. Yep. So early on mm -hmm. with the Image Comics, they tried to do a whole shared universe. So they were constantly mentioning the team Youngblood. Yep, Youngbloods. Oh, I should have got my Youngblood comics because I have a Chapel issue. Oh, really? Uh, yeah, that was a th you notice early in the comics they're constantly yeah. mentioning Youngblood and yeah, shit, exactly. and then like they eventually just stop mentioning. Yeah, there's them. like a, there's like a news article. It's like the Youngbloods have done this. Yeah. It's like oh, well, okay. there's a whole thing where Spawn goes to Youngblood okay. headquarters and shit. <laughs> Uh, but the one thing that they kept from Youngblood was Chapel, yeah. who was like a good guy, but he had a past. Mm -hmm. And we learned in the comics that they had like a whole history together. Yeah. They, were, they were in the same like military thing. Yeah, they were in the, the same, shooting. Yeah. They were army brothers and stuff. Yeah, but in the comics, like Chapel's the one who betrays Al yeah, and has exactly. to kill him. He's the one that kills him. They got rid of that. Yeah. They use it for the cartoon though. Mm-hmm. So they switch it's it cool to design. They switch it. Yeah, it's cool with the skull face. Yeah. And then Spawn makes it a permanent skull yeah, face, exactly. which is I'm awesome. Uh, so they changed it to Jessica Priest. Mm -hmm. Now this this would happen today. <laughs> a strong media. male character replacing it with a lady, although it wouldn't be a white lady. No. They're, they're like we can't replace Latina. Two. <laughs> These days they, they're like we can't replace two black people yeah. with two white people. Um, yes, it would be a Latinx. You're supposed to say Latinx. Oh, am I? Yes. Is that a thing? Yes. Oh shit. Yes, Pedro. You should know that. White women on Twitter told me that that's what you have to say now. <laughs> So that's what you have I'm to so say. I'm so glad I'm going to Alaska. <laughs> that's still in America, though. <laughs> but it's away from you. 
<laughs> the Latinx community in Alaska, I guess they're not on board yeah, with that. It's all Eskimos and reindeers. <laughs> I don't think you're allowed to say Eskimo. <laughs> Am I? Are you not actually? Is that is that a bad thing? You're supposed Wait. to say Inuit. Really? Oh, thank God this is your last episode. You know, it's stuff like this that made these episodes difficult. <laughs> Having to cut around your very offensive days. Anyway. anyway Eskimos. Anyway. Take chapel. back to 97. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, they replaced mm -hmm. Chapel with Jessica. Yep. I don't know why they felt the need to make this character. But then, like, it's fine for the movie. But apparently they then retconned the comics yeah. where it was Jessica, Jessica was the that one killed who them. always killed him. It's like, yeah. what was the point of all that Chapel shit? Yeah, exactly. I mean, like, what the fuck was that? <laughs> well, it was because Rob Liefeld originally made Chapel. And okay. him and Todd Farland had a uh, fallen out. God, okay, so Comic that was a problem Comic with Comic Image Farland. Comics where they were like, any character you make, you get to that's own. yours now. And it's like, okay, well, that's really going to bite you on the yeah, ass exactly. if they, when it comes to reprinting mm -hmm. and the contracts expire. Or there's a falling out. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Rob Liefeld and Todd McFarlane had like a falling out. And he's like, well, I'm taking all my characters. And Chapel was like <laughs> one of his characters. So he took them out. And they're like, <laughs> well, shit, <laughs> what do we do now? And they're like, Apparently he was still <laughs> apparently was still working for the cartoon, but okay. um, yeah, I guess when they decided to wreck on it, yeah. they're like, "Well, that, who's that character we made up for the movie? Put her in there." Yeah, exactly. She becomes she spawn later on. Yeah, woke, woke, woke. <laughs> why is that? She, why is that? She has a perfectly normal face. Why is he off? <laughs> why does he look like this? I think you're supposed to look like how you died. Oh, I guess because she got shot. Okay. I guess. Yeah, I guess so. I don't know. He, he was all burnt. I don't yeah. know. Um, <laughs> how did Kagiyoshi die? Because wasn't he the spawn? Huh. Cagliostro. Uh, I don't know. Maybe he got stabbed. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. It was like the 1940s. Um, so, yeah. Uh, Priest is, like, making fun of him. Yeah. Uh, like, like, apparently Priest loves murdering and yeah. shit. She's, and like, she the number one assassin. Yeah, and she loves... Play well, it's Al is the number one, but she's, like... She enjoys it the yeah. most. And also, she's sleeping with the boss, yeah. and also, she loves tarantulas. Yeah, she has like a spider that never yeah. comes back. She's like, mm. she's got a gun on her leg. They make sure yeah. to show a little leg action <laughs> there. Um, so edgy. they're like, they're like, okay, Al, we'll let you go. Yeah, but one last <laughs> mission. It's like the mafia. One last job. Also, Pedro, after 20, 30 episodes, yes. can you please get a little closer to your mic? I just noticed. <laughs> my I'm bad. Sorry, I have all these toys in my way, and yeah. I pretend I can see you, and I realize you were too frightened. He finally gets it right on his last episode, apparently. Last episode is the best episode. That's what they say. <laughs> About the series finale, you would have a series beginning. <laughs> um, so, like, okay, one last mission in mm -hmm. North Korea. You got to stop a biological factory in uh, North Korea that's making uh, deadly yeah. weapons, yeah. viruses. He's like, okay, let's do this thing. Yeah. And then I'm pretty sure there would have been a scene here of mm -hmm. Wanda being like, don't go, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, he and probably goes like, home and like he's like, I got to do this mission, baby. <laughs> yeah, and then they were like, you know what? Why well, have character development? Yeah, exactly. We to show weird go, CGI go, go. transitions. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, those, those screen wipes are like, <laughs> yeah. So, I love there's one where it just, it's a fiery transition. It just cuts to Mal Bolger going, blah. And then it just cuts <laughs> to something else. I wish it was just zoom in faces. <laughs> 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 um yeah the, the 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 transitions and stuff are so bad yeah uh i mean i enjoy that but they're mm -hmm. like so over the top yeah um so yeah it goes to korea and mm -hmm. he's beating up koreans and whatnot and he's like all right i'm at the factory but then he's double crossed yeah by priest, priest and win yeah and these were action figures they sold of them in their weird silver suits oh really yeah i kind of like them i want it all the spawn <laughs> movie at one day I will buy Spawn movie action. <laughs> I have pretty much all the Series 1 figures. Yeah. I would like to get the one with the clown's face actually in the box. Oh. But those are the ones I said are the only ones I would buy. Uh -huh. Oh, you know what I don't have on set? The Spawn Mobile, which he actually never drove. In yeah, the exactly. Comic. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, the moment I saw that, I was like, if I was a kid, I'd be like, I want that. Yeah. One. <laughs> also, I've never actually seen it, the Spawn Alley. All these toys say that there was a Spawn Alley playset but it's a cartoon on the back. I've never actually physically seen it. <laughs> Interesting. Um, so yeah, uh, all, all the Spawn toys were awesome. They were in yeah. stores for years. I would just like sit and look at them. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, think, I think that's like my first recollection of Spawn is either that or seeing like the last scene of the movie yeah. on Spike. But yeah, the toys <laughs> were like, I would see the toy like, who's that? That's not Batman. That's awesome. 
You look cool. A while back, I did see like a Malbolgia movie one still in the oh. box, and I'm like, I should get that. Yeah, I'm like I didn't have enough money at the time. <laughs> um, so yeah, they kill him. They light him on fire. Yeah, they spray him with that ooze. Yeah, and they're like, "Sorry, Simmons, you're fired. Bye. <laughs> you're like, fired." So it cuts now in the extended cut. You can actually see this where he's on fire. He gets up and he goes, "Wanda." Yeah, yeah. But it's his face on the stomach. But it's not perfectly synced <laughs> with the stunt man. So it's like floating over his face, I'm like ah. <laughs> yeah, I vividly remember that scene too, where he's like, Wanda! Wanda! <laughs> and then, <laughs> yeah. And he gets set on fire. Yeah. And we see a CGI double go down the fire <laughs> tunnel. Wanda! Oh! oh! Loading. <laughs> yeah. Um, and he dies. Yeah. Five years later. That would have been a cool change, like a little five years later. <laughs> Like Avengers Endgame. Yeah. Yeah. They would have been ahead of the curve. Yeah, they would have. <laughs> um, like Spawn did it first. <laughs> yeah, Spawn did it first. Okay, Avengers Endgame, you hacks. Joe and Anthony Russo. You hacks. Hacks the movie. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he wakes up on a cathedral mm -hmm. in the middle of Rat City. Yeah. Uh, and Clown says hi. Yeah, he's just like, how you doing? What's up, man? I like <laughs> the CGI wide shot. There's like a yeah. CGI clown like bouncing up. Oh, down. I actually didn't. I <laughs> yeah. did not. Uh, but yeah, he's all like, how you doing? We're going to have fun with you. Welcome yeah. to Earth. Um, I love the cathedral set. Yeah, the giant, like, when it goes to wide and you just see CG, I'm like, this is pretty good looking. Yeah, the, the whole thing, all, all this stuff looks really good. The stuff with the alley and whatnot. Yeah. Um, he never, never quite have a, has a relationship with a lot of the homeless people yeah, no. other than one. There's an early comic where Spawn literally gets drunk with the homeless people mm. and sings the Flintstones song. I don't remember that. Yeah, that was in there. Okay. Uh, you might remember the one. Say, one of the the bums gets drunk and puts his mask on, and the mask tries to kill him because oh, yeah, it yeah, like yeah. doesn't recognize him. Because <laughs> in the comics, like his suit early on was just like a suit that he yeah. put on. He it's kind of like how the Venom suit and yeah, it's like a symbiote more alien, yeah, or symbiote. Yes, whatever one. Yeah, the Spawn suit starts to act a little bit like Venom in yeah. these comics <laughs> after a while. Tom McFarlane's like Venom <laughs> symbiote. <laughs> How much can I get away with this? <laughs> Black, um, white? Oh. <laughs> red? Uh, but yeah, so he never has that scene. Yeah. And maybe if they ever make that new Spawn movie, I hope there's a scene where Oof. he gets drunk and sings the Flintstones theme with Bob. Oof. Um, Is that movie ever going to come out? <laughs> no, it's still in production. It says like 2024. I'm like, uh-huh. 2025? <laughs> yeah, sure, buddy. He wanted to direct it. It's like, Todd, what are you doing? No. What are you doing? The last no. time I heard they had other writers fixing up his script. Do you know who was originally supposed to uh, direct this? Who? Uh, Tim Byrne. Really? Yeah. They were. That was their number one choice, but I guess he declined. Uh, the dark super. I feel like he would have been retreading. Old yeah, Brown. exactly. An edgy. Yeah, and guy like who wears a cape and stuff. Yeah, and this is like after freaking like the crow and stuff. Yeah, and it's like he's like, no, I kind of started this dark superhero trend in film. Mm. I don't need to cash in on myself. Yeah, exactly. um, I got other. Oh, and he was probably too busy writing Superman. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. I remember, you spent two years. Also, the uh, Batman, the one with uh, Scarecrow. Wouldn't that be around this time too? No, I don't think they were going to do that with him. Okay. No, no, he was on board for Superman for two years, and he wasted two years <laughs> developing Superman. Okay. Yeah. Um, Man, that movie. <laughs> so, yeah, he uh, he wakes up. He goes down to Rat City, and I mm -hmm. like that he's all, like, his skin is all bumble bu yeah. bubbling. The makeup effects look awesome. Yeah, the, 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 the prosthetics look really good. The prosthetics look awesome. And I like that his burns kind of mimic the white the patches. The mask. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's moments where I'm like, oh, I can see that, like, the yeah. mask like, right there. I wonder stuff. if they kept going, if they would have done the whole story arc where he has the shoelace zippering up yeah. his head. Which From the battering. Have on here? One of these comics has, uh, one of these uh, suits has it. Yeah. There was like a moment where like Spawn had a head injury, but he didn't want to waste the power you healing know, got himself. That, right? He's like, I could heal myself yeah. with my powers, or I just get the shoelace and tie it up yeah. so I don't have to use energy. I'm like, I threw a cool. battering at his face. Huh? That meant you a battering at his face. That's <laughs> how he gets it. Because the crossover it ends with him throwing a battering in his face and it just ends with. Wait, you know, is that how he got it? Yeah, that's how he actually gets it. I thought it. that was like a self contained story. No, it's uh, connected to the Batman Spawn crossover. Oh, that's hilarious. It ends with him that's getting not the... included in the volumes. Oh, no. Yeah, it ends with him that. getting the battering in his face, and then the next issue he has the shoelace. He's like, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> Pedro is half right. How did Spawn get the shoelace face? 
The shoelace face was introduced in Spawn issue 21, and it was a way for him to heal his face without using his energy. This comic immediately followed the Spawn Batman crossover that ends with Spawn getting a batarang to the face. He says he ran into some bozo in black. However, if you look, there's a note at the bottom that says, see issues 19 and 20 that are not out yet. So if you were reading these in order, it makes it seem like Batman caused the scar on Spawn's face and that's where the shoelace face came from. But they wanted to keep those continuities separate. So the in-universe reason showed up in issues 19 and 20. And in those issues, we find out that Spawn went on an adventure with Harry Houdini, who is a time-traveling interdimensional wizard. They fight some aliens, and in this battle, he gets a head wound. So now the Bozo in Black means Harry Houdini and not Batman. Spawn comics are weird. That was cool when they crossed over. Yeah. Um, All the crossovers were cool. Yeah. Especially uh, the one with uh, the Toon Force guy. The what? Uh, when he has a crossover with the Toon Force guy where he's walking down the hallway and he sees all the superheroes that are stuck in the Oh, house. yeah, that one was cool. And it's an allegory for, like, yeah, the, owning your rights is cool, man. Do it, too. <laughs> yeah, Image Comics, you can own your rights. This won't bite us on the ass. Man, Image Comics. <laughs> There's no way me. Angela will become a Marvel Comics character years from now. <laughs> Spoiler, Angela is now a Marvel Comics character. I think she's in the Thor series? Yeah, she's Thor's sister. What? Yeah. Oh, God, that's stupid. Yeah, Thor and Loki's sister. <laughs> it's annoying because I would actually like to see the Angela stuff play off, but yeah. now they can't do it. Um, but we'll get to Angela in a second. Yeah, we'll get there in a minutes. second. Uh, so, yeah, he um, he goes down there. He sees Miko Hughes. Oh, yeah. As Zach. I saw Miko Hughes at Spookala last year. Huh. And I had a drink token uh -huh. at the party we were at, and I just... One drink was enough for old Uncle Tony. <laughs> I'm like, what am I going to do with this drink token? So I just went up to Miko Hughes. Uh -huh. I stood behind him like a creep. And he looked at me and I was like, I loved you in Spawn. <laughs> and then I was like, have a drink. And then I walked <laughs> Drinks away. Drinks on it's, me. Walks it's literally the only walks thing. Walks into the crowd and is never seen or heard from again. <laughs> I literally was like, I loved you in Spawn. <laughs> have a drink. And then I left. He's probably like, who the fuck was that was guy? That guy? <laughs> you guys um, see that guy? What was that? Yeah. So here, Al has all his memories, mm -hmm. other than what happened in hell. Yeah. And he's like, all right, time to go home. It's like, <laughs> Al, you should go to a hospital before you go home. <laughs> <laughs> time to go see my wife. <laughs> She's got bacon waking. Yeah. And uh, Cogliostro is also showing him around. Yeah. He's like, yeah, we live here. He's like, leave me alone. Anybody's welcome here, brother. <laughs> I got to go see my wife. My I'm wife. sure is still loyal to yeah. me. <laughs> She'll never leave me. He comes home to a little girl's birthday party. And then we find out that Wanda married Terry, and they had a kid, Cyan. 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 These which I women think is, are not loyal. This, these these hoes are not loyal. They're not loyal. Yeah, that's what Chris Brown said. <laughs> Damn shame. And and he was wrong. Yeah. We disavow Chris Brown. Yeah. Shame. <laughs> okay. And I like that clown is pretending to be a clown at, yeah, the, party. at the party. <laughs> but he's like the word he can't get the ring to Yeah. Right? He's like, mm. and John John like was uh, so clown in the comic will show up, be annoying for a bit, yeah. maybe turn in the violator. Yeah. And even in the cartoon, he shows up, he's like just kind of creepy and yeah. leaves. John Leguizamo is all throughout this movie. He is not. He wants to earn that stop paycheck. Riffing. Yeah. Huh? He wants to earn that paycheck. He wants to earn that paycheck. He's just not. So also, I like that he's squatting the whole movie. Yeah, he's because they put the suit on him. It's like, I'm not small enough. So he yeah, just squats exactly. the whole time. Uh, he just doesn't shut up. Yeah, He's no. He's talking constantly. Uh, but yeah, so Spaz recognizes Al. Yeah. And Al's in pain. Uh, I like that Wanda gets freaked out because Cyan sees him. Yeah. And he's all like, Wanda. She's like, how do you know my name? <laughs> uh, Stranger danger. But I love that clown has to cover for him. And yeah. he goes there. He's like, oh, it's my old friend, Crispy. Bad Crispy. <laughs> Bad Crispy. <laughs> Bad crispy, bad crispy. Bad. Sounds just like Cartman. Yeah. No, kitty. No. Clown not like. Uh, and then he's just like, who's this little girl? And he gives her a clown, clown. doll. And, but it's like the exorcist. Yeah. That, like, shoots vomit. <laughs> I'm like, you can take that back, sir. I don't yeah. want that. I'm yeah, Jimmy Sweetie's like, get get out of here, man. You're a creepy clown. Yeah. We don't like you. We hired you, though. <laughs> um, 
So yeah, he takes it back to the alley, and mm. Clown is mad that he's a clown. Yeah. He's forced to be a clown mm -hmm. for some reason. Starts mentioning all the clowns, like, I hate Bobo and stuff. And yeah, like, I yeah. That. I wish he said, like, but I love Gacy, and he just takes it off. I'm like, oh, okay, well. You are I do like that he says, I don't mind being short, fat, and ugly. That yeah. is a line right from the comics. Okay. Because in the comics, after him and Spawn have their first fight, mm -hmm. Malbolgia heals Spawn, but then he punishes Violator by only sticking him in his clown form. Yeah. He can't change back into violator he's like mm -hmm. all right whatever i don't mind being short fat and ugly <laughs> <laughs> um but i my favorite line here is like because al's like what's wrong with me he's like you're dead d-e-d -E -D, dead D -E -D, but my favorite yeah. line is when he goes the entire cast of er couldn't put it back together again. <laughs> <laughs> uh so al wants some answers mm -hmm. so he's like all right let me do a flashback here <laughs> flashes back to hell here's your flashback montage i got you <laughs> so we see hell in all its hellish glory A.K.A. it's floating lava rocks. It's just giant, like, pillars of rocks. Like, And you see, like, the hell spawns, like, yeah! Yeah, oh, my God, the copy and paste <laughs> hell spawns. Like, maybe they were animated pretty good, but when you copy and paste a million, they look like stop yeah. motion. And they're literally there, copied, like, every moment, five is the same one. There's a moment at the end where one of them comes up to the screen, and it's just like, oh, I hit the mic. <laughs> there's a moment where one of them comes up to the screen, it's just like a 240p, like, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's, look, like, it's like an SNES game. <laughs> I'm like, come on. But like, hell in the comics is like an alien world. Like, yeah. I think heaven and hell are like dimensions. And then there's other, I like, there's the whole thing. The comics get real weird. Yeah. There's like Planes. interdimensional beings and yeah. aliens that like come to Earth. And yeah. Like, oh yeah, heaven and hell, they're doing their there's thing. There's different like levels to hell. Yeah, but like, um, yeah. famously, Kincaid, yeah. who was the cuties fan that's yeah. murdered there. Uh, it's funny. He only had a few issues, but mm -hmm. he's like such a big part. It of was like one. the most iconic, horrible. Yeah, I think it's the TV, season one of the TV show. Yeah, really. the, it covers. Alan B. McElroy realized like, no, this is a good character. Yeah. to like really make you hate. Uh, there's a whole issue where he goes to hell, mm -hmm. and there's like mutant alien yeah. thing. He kills one of them and wears its skin. Yeah, there. It like it's like another world. Yeah, and there's different levels of it. Mm -hmm. It looks awesome. He becomes a spawn. He becomes a fat spawn. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, uh, you should have worn a fat spawn Shut up, suit. I'm, I'm sexy spawn now. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, it, hell looks so cool and it's so yeah. imaginative. And then here it's just fire and lava. Yeah. Like there's like a like a um there's a level that's like completely like robots and stuff. Like they're like yeah. well, techno organic. I yeah, guess. it's yeah. cool. It's cool. Because even the angels from heaven look like weird yeah. like, robot looking things. Yeah, exactly. Um and then we see Malbolgia. Yeah. Who looks kind of like he did in the early comics? He yeah. looks like uh, the series two action figure mm. more so. I don't. I thought I ha I didn't have it. Um, he looks more like that mm -hmm. than he does usually. But yeah, he's got his goat eyes, yeah. his weird horns. There's moments where it switches camera, like different uh, models, mm. and he has different eyes. I'm like, what? <laughs> like his eyes are like like, and uh, he is super pixelated. Yeah, exactly. it looks really, and the fur is really bad. Mm -hmm. Uh, but they tried to say that Hell was speaking for him. Okay. Telepathically. I guess. Because when you see it, he's just like, ah, <laughs> done. Ah, da, da. It's Frank Weckler doing the yeah, voice. Frank he's doing his uh, claw voice from yeah. Inspector Gadget. And they're like, what? He's like, what, what voice should I do? Claw. Which, <laughs> when we did the AVGN thing, we had the flashbacks. Mm -hmm. I got Joe Lascola from Movie Dumpster to yeah. do the, the devil voice. You cheated. <laughs> You didn't grow. You didn't improve. You took the shortcut and gained nothing. Because it's uh, he could do a really good inspe uh, claw voice from Inspector Gadget. It's just like yeah. If you could do a claw, you could do sound wave and all that. Yeah, because he was he was doing Justin's makeup uh -huh. and we were making fun of the voice and he nailed it. I'm like, oh, Joe, you got to do the voiceover for yeah. the comic section. <laughs> um, yeah. So. Uh, he agrees to lead the army to mm -hmm. see Wanda again. He didn't yeah. think twice about it. No. Which in the cartoon, the Tom McFarlane does an intro making fun of it. And he's like, he signed like a sucker. <laughs> like Tom Todd, Todd McFarlane. Like Todd, you're shitting on your own character that you wrote. <laughs> he's an idiot. Yeah. Uh, it's like, what? So yeah, he's a sucker. He's going to lead the army and burn heaven down. Hey, man. Yeah. Pussy's golden. Right? <laughs> You'll do anything for that, right? <laughs> To go to hell and come back and raise hell. No, I don't do anything for women. <laughs> I don't do anything. That's why when your sister said, Tony, can you get me a good lawyer? I'm like, I don't help broads out. You're on your own. Um, R.I.P. R.I.P. 
Are you glad you got the attention? <laughs> All right. Um, um, but not forgotten. So, who are you talking about again? I forgot. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Clown uh, takes Al to the gravesite. Mm -hmm. today. This is like famous in Spawn Lords. In the yeah. Comics, it's in the cartoon. Yeah. It's done cool there. Mm -hmm. It's not cool here. Here, it's Clown is just joking constantly. <laughs> hand comes up. <laughs> oh yeah, the, the CGI hand yeah. comes up, and like it's just funny that in the same year, the same right. Although this script was rewritten heavily, yeah. I don't know how much of Alan's script is mm -hmm. on the screen, but it's funny how like here it's just a cartoon hand, and the Clown's joking, and yeah. then the comics it's like the corpse comes to life and, and gives like, like yells at him. And stuff. He's like, you did it all for nothing. You made a deal with Balboa. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, no, I couldn't have. <laughs> He's like, well, you did. <laughs> you dumbass. <laughs> um, Pussy's golden, right, brother? <laughs> <laughs> um, there, ha there happens to be some Satan worshippers. Yeah. In the uh, cemetery. Yeah. And they're like, we got, they're ch like sacrificing like a skull. For Satan, they don't know that Satan's not around currently. Yeah. Uh, he will show up in the spawn lore. Him and God, they're like twins. Yeah. And they have a mom who's like, really? It's a whole, it gets real complicated. Yeah, it Guys, gets really... it, gets, it gets real complicated. <laughs> Support your local comics. Get all the comics. <laughs> <laughs> so Satan's not around. No. Satan's not around. He's on vacation. He couldn't show up even if he wanted to. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so yeah, they're like, oh, well, they, they hear a clown in there. Mm -hmm. uh, also, I love clown's uh, shovel. Oh, it has his face on it. <laughs> so I thought that was like a joke, but then it shows that he actually used the shovel to dig dirt. I'm yeah, like, that exactly. That shovel wouldn't work. No. You can't. All the dirt would fall off. Of yeah, I was like, this does not look, uh, <laughs> this does not work, sir. Start digging. <laughs> Start digging, um, boy. <laughs> so uh, Spawn, finally, his, uh, what you call it? Um, his necroplasm, like, comes out. Yeah, he's like, uh, I like that it, like, explodes yeah. out of his skin. It's like, I bubbles actually, are popping. And, like, I love this suit effect in yeah. here. And I love that, like, the mask can, like, form yeah. on him and he can take it off. There's, like, an outer lining that goes out and then it's like... Yeah, and then, like, the, now all the Marvel movies do that with the yeah, nano exactly. stuff. This is, like, early nano shit. Spawn was the blueprint. Huh? Spawn was the blueprint. Spawn was the blueprint. First it's black movie. They recognized. <laughs> Move over Blade. <laughs> no, no, the first black Steel. superhero movie based off a comic. Yeah. There were black superhero movies. <laughs> yeah, Blank sure. Man and Meteor Man. Yeah, sure. Which I can't believe I let you say some of the shit you said in Meteor Man. I, I almost lost YouTube over that. Rumble. <laughs> yes, yes. That episode is exclusively on Rumble. Go to Rumble. Check that out. Uh, the Meteor Man episode where Pedro just said some things. Uh, <laughs> I'm surprised they let me get away with most of the stuff I said. And you're getting monetized off it too. That's the crazy part. So yeah, he's uh he's full on spawn now. Mm -hmm. He's got his cool body. I love yep. that he's showing it off to the Satan worshippers. Yeah, so they get scared. They're like, uh, let's get the hell out of here, man. <laughs> out of here. Also, clown says the R word. Yeah, he's like, what are they? A bunch of yeah. You know, he goes, heaven gets all the good oh, yeah. souls, and we get the R, R words. <laughs> and thank you for saying R words. I mean, I am one of those, so I guess I can <laughs> say it. But I am actually autistic, people. <laughs> Another one. We have Mint, Manny, Pedro. Now, well, now we'll have one less because yeah. you're leaving. Yeah. The show will be less autistic. How will we survive? See, you can't say that because you're not autistic, but I can because I am. PC culture, Tony. <laughs> be woke or get out, brother. <laughs> anyway, do I get do I get an R word pass? I'm at. <laughs> I'm at. She's in hell. She can't hear you. <laughs> All right. Uh, so now he's fully spawned, <laughs> uh -huh. and we get a little hint that spawn like demons and whatnot can be killed yep. if you cut off their head. Mm -hmm. He learns that. Okay, so they go back to the alley, and John Leguizamo actually ate maggots for the scene. Yeah, he immediately threw them up after taking that. Yeah. He went back to he went. Bleh. I don't blame him. I would. <laughs> I'd be like, kill me now. <laughs> I do love the uh, where the an oh gross anchovies. Yeah, he's a gross. Anchovies. He's so gross in this. He's showing his skin marks. He's yeah. Far in oh, he I got does skin marks. <laughs> He does the angel thing. He's like, oh, whenever a demon, oh, whenever y'all fought, a demon gets his wings. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Twins. <laughs> it's like constantly gross and Gosh. weird. So he leaves. Spawn is uh, showing off his cool powers. Mm -hmm. He's like, I'm going to kill Win. Uh, then he sees Cagliostro, and Cagliostro is like, I was like you. And Spawn has a good moment. He's like, are there any normal people or is everyone just <laughs> back from hell? <laughs> are there any normal people or are people just like, all crazy? Yeah. So this next shot, before they go into Win's office, the uh, political pundit opinion piece guy. He's the guy on screen. He's, like, uh, doing this. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay, yeah. okay, okay. Again, another really deep reference. Yeah. 
Uh, Wynn is telling Priest. First, he says, like, oh, Terry's doing a great job covering for us. What a great guy. Yeah. Uh, but then he's... Um, I wish we had one of those when I said all those things. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> Enjoy Alaska, yeah. buddy. Um, <laughs> we, uh... Wynn tells Priest that the Heat 16 virus is finished. Mm -hmm. And they're going to use it to take over the world. And they have the only cure for it. Um, and then, uh, this happened in the comics where Spawn has to go get weapons. Yeah, he becomes Gun Spawn. Yeah. Although I think, again, I should have reread them. I think he does that to reserve on power. But he yeah. doesn't know about his powers. I really. think it's when he's fighting this guy. Overkill. Overkill. Yes, that's right. Because he he's Overkill. too powerful. And he's like, oh, God. And yeah. he gets guns to. Yeah. To... So he breaks in the facility. We get our first glimpse of the cape. Yeah. I, I like it. The cape is awesome. Yeah. Uh, the problem is it is CGI, mm -hmm. so they don't use it a lot. But, like, I'm so when used to do. seeing Spawn with his cape. Yeah, exactly. Like, any of these toys. Any of these I don't toys. mind Spawn. <laughs> Spawn can take off his cape. Yeah. That's fine. Mm -hmm. He does it. But, like, most of the time he has the cape yeah, on. Yeah, it's, it's his <laughs> iconic statement. Yeah. Uh, so we only see a glimpse of it here. Mm -hmm. Um he gets all that. Uh, Terry asks Wynn to investigate some of their botched missions. Mm -hmm. He doesn't know that Wynn is... Well, he has an idea that Wynn might be purposely botching them. Yeah. Which is why he's like, can I investigate these and figure out what's going wrong? And then he goes, how are your wife and kid? Like the famous <laughs> bad guy thing. Yeah. Where it's like, hey. How's that beautiful wife of yours? Shut up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And he's Keep like, okay. And he's, and they'll be safe. He sees the special ops CD. Yeah, he's, he's like, like hmm, should I think <laughs> that? And they're like, hey. We got to go to a party. Yeah. And they leave. And then Spawn is watching them leave with all the guns. And I go, shoot him. Shoot him right now. Yeah. Shoot him right now. Vlad, Vlad Sniper just blows his brains out. You have a million guns. Shoot him. Bang. Bang, 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 bang. What are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? He's right there. I played MK, uh, uh, uh what was it? 11? <laughs> 11. 11. He pulls out guns out the wazoo. Come on. <laughs> it's his down back. I have the MK11 figure right there. Oh, yeah. I wanted a posable Spawn. Yeah. Because I used to have it on display at my old place. Because all the McFarland things are kind of stuck in one position. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah. Oh, I just realized Malbolge's head is here. <laughs> I could have shown That's that. When I was... <laughs> uh, yeah, there's two versions of this figure. Him uh -huh. without the mask with Malbolge's head. And then that one over there with him with the gun. Uh, we get to see the party. Mm -hmm. And Wayne is meeting with some foreign dignitaries. He meets up with uh, those guys from Delvey, like, like yeah. The... <laughs> and they're like, "Mr. Wynn, you are yeah. uh, very popular." Yeah. Uh, yeah, and he's talking about the Heat 16 mm -hmm. virus and everything. And then Angela makes a cameo. Yeah, yeah she's just there. She's like, "Hey guys, it's me." <laughs> uh, for a year, but when I was a kid, I didn't realize who that was. Yeah, same. Yeah, but but I didn't recognize the spawn earrings. So the story of Angela is that she mm. is an angelic bounty freelance hunter. angel. Yes. Uh, but she killed the previous two mm -hmm. Hellspawns. Mm -hmm. And that's what those earrings represent. Yeah. So she's supposed to kill Hellspawns. And she's there. To kill. And a spawn shows up. And she's just nowhere to be found. She's like, these martinis are really shocking. <laughs> yeah. She gets drunk. <laughs> like, oh, fuck. She's underneath the, the table. She's like, oh, I'm going to sleep. It's just a weird place to put her cameo. Yeah. I would have put her anywhere else anywhere in the movie. Because now as a fan, I'm like, why is Angela not attacking yeah, him right exactly. now? Yeah, exactly. Uh, she was supposed to come back in season four of the show. Really? Yeah, they never got around to it. They had that different angel in Jade? season three. Yeah, Jade. Yeah. I think it was supposed to be like Jade was going to be like her ex-lover, so she's yeah. mad that Jade is dead. Yeah. But yeah, they have that cool scene in the cartoon. She has like one episode, and you never see her again. Uh, you know how she gets introduced in the Marvel, right? In the Marvel universe? So basically there was the Age of Ultron event. Yeah. And it ended with them like kind of like coming back into like the main timeline and it, she's just in a panel <laughs> like it's like and the and the timelines collided <laughs> and it's just like you see like a small little picture of her i'm like oh, okay well i guess she's here now i guess angela's here now <laughs> yeah okay i don't know i mean that's just probably just her name and look but she doesn't have the cool backstory no it's, it's literally yeah. she's odin's daughter that they didn't know about and then, so like hell yeah basically hell yeah um so yeah uh spawn does a batman yeah. He breaks through the glass seal. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys. And it's a cool shot. Yeah, with the giant with the, cape. With the, the cape, and then the mask comes up, and then the chains are like, ha! Yeah. <laughs> They're biting at him. Yeah. Uh, and he wants to fight Win. He's like, how dare you? You killed me. Now, in the comics and stuff, like, they don't know that he's Al for, like, a really long no. time. Terry eventually finds yeah. out. And they conspire to take Win down. But, like, here, just Al shows up. He's like, I'm Al Simmons. And <laughs> hey, guys. Like, oh! I'm Al Simmons. I can expose him for everything right now. <laughs> but I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna kill him. All right, later. 
Uh, but yeah, he's he he should just kill him right around. But it's yeah. like he's dicking around. Honestly, he just pull out a gun to shoot him right in the chest. Yeah, he gets distracted by Terry. He's like, yeah. "How could you? And you he's smashing like, my wife?" And he's like, "You died." <laughs> and she was sad. She's been you've been dead for five years, my um, guy. But Priest shows up because mm-hmm. the priest is on her way there because they realized yeah. the armory was raided. Yeah, so she's already there. Uh, she yeah, shoots like, Spawn. Yeah, he, his bullet wounds heal, and he goes, yeah. "Damn!" <laughs> He's like, "Damn, damn, this shit's getting good." <laughs> damn. <laughs> There's a funny uh, error where when he falls, you can see the bottom of his sneakers. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. So when he falls, and he hits the gu- he hits the uh, the butler. You look at the bottom; it's just the boot, and then his <laughs> sneaker at the bottom. It's like, wow. Um. Uh, I like that he uh he fights her. And he's yeah. got a dick saving belt. Yeah, his, kicks belt, the his belt will save you from crotch shots. <laughs> if this was uh, any other movie, the belt would have came out. He's like, "I got your balls, man." <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is—I mean, it's still PG thirteen, but you mm-hmm. don't really see too many movies where the hero will just shoot a woman in the head. Yeah, he just like, bah, 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 bah. yeah, he just like murders her, like straight up. He's like, yeah. "All right, I do like the where you're going every day is Halloween." <laughs> <laughs> So he kills her. Yeah, he just straight up shoots her and she falls. And it's weird that they kill this character now. Yeah. Uh, apparently, and they had ideas early on that mm-hmm. before they rewrote the whole third act that she was either going to come back as a lady hell spawn. Okay. Woke, or a female <laughs> over to kill. Woke. woke. I would have walked out of the theater. I would have been like, not my overkill. And my grandfather and I guess mom that's would have been what like, they... what are you doing? Get back in the theater. I guess that's kind of what they were teasing because they put her like in a cryogenic They thing. do. They, maybe they maybe they, maybe they had an idea of like, maybe we could bring her in another movie. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, they throw, because it's weird. Everyone else is in body bags so like put her in the cryo Yeah, thing. exactly. So I'm like, oh, they're teasing something. Yeah. Else. Um, But instead, she just leaves forever. And then yeah. Clown just shows up and makes fun of her. Yeah. <laughs> And I like Spawn's about to shoot the clown. He's like, yeah, go ahead. Why yeah. not? <laughs> uh, oh, we forgot in that flashback where Spawn made the deal. They yeah. show clown like looking on jealously. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so Spawn shoots the guards that show up. Mm-hmm. And I've made fun of this for years, even in the last review. Spawn jumps, shooting his guns. Yeah, he's he like, flips. <laughs> but there's no one behind him. <laughs> It's just a random butler. He and comes. I actually think the people are on the sides of him, so he's shooting, and then he flips, and he just shoots the wall behind him for no reason. Yeah. He shoots the wall behind him for mm-hmm. no reason. And I've been asking this for decades. What did the wall do to him? <laughs> Why is he wasting I'm milk? like one of the pedestrians. <laughs> that was great, man. Um, So uh, he gets knocked out a window. Yep. And then his 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 chains save him, and then yeah. he throws suction cups. Suction cups, and you hear that... And he goes, holy shit. He does the, <laughs> yeah. same, he does the Power Rangers mask acting where it's yeah. like, holy shit. Hell yeah. Holy shit. Although I think in the trailer, there's a horrible line where they do that. He goes, this armor rules. Oh, my like, God. <laughs> um, so he's like climbing and he looks awesome. And again, I feel like it's like they're like, this was what Venom would look yeah, like. Exactly. In a movie. <laughs> uh, he uses his cape to camouflage. Mm-hmm. That was cool. And then he turns it off for no reason? Yeah, exactly. I don't know if it's because he just wasn't thinking. Because remember, like, I guess. tells him you have to think, and he wasn't thinking. I guess I would have stayed there for a while exactly. until they left. Um, but yeah, they shoot at him because they see him again. And then he falls, and he flies away with yeah. his cape. Although that CGI slow motion of him falling yeah. is awkward. Uh, and then he poses mm-hmm. on, a, on a gargoyle to look cool. Which looks like an image ripped out of the comics. Yeah, exactly. But I like he's just like... I did some cool stuff back there. I'm gonna go stand on a Man, gargoyle. Wanda was here to see me now. Yeah, I'm gonna stand on a gargoyle and pose for everyone. Batman's on the other one, like poser. Yeah. <laughs> that is that famous comic of them staring yeah. at each other. Yeah. Um, Spider-Man's on the other one. Yeah. Come on, guys. So Wim meets up with Clown, mm-hmm. uh, and he tells him, "Oh like, wait, hey, you missed the best scene. What? When the doctor comes, he's like, she's dead. <laughs> he's just got, like, bullets he, all he checks her pulse. Yeah, she's dead. Put her away. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> Couldn't uh, tell Doc. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, he meets up a clown. And the clown is like, t- he's like, why didn't you tell me about Spawn? Like, ow! He's yeah. like, oh, sorry, I forgot to mention it. <laughs> oh, he's like, oh, by the way, that guy really wants to kill you. Yeah. Do me a favor. Put a device in your uh, chest. Put so a if your heart in. stops, all the bombs will go off. He's like, it's an insurance policy to make sure no one kills you. Yeah. 
And he's like, it's a good idea. I like that. <laughs> Why didn't I think of that? Not realize that he's being set up. Exactly. Uh, and then he has a bunch of broads come out yeah. and dance with him. Yeah. He's like, ladies. Oh, we forgot one. Uh, when he's leaving earlier, when Spawn's leaving the alley, yeah. there's just a random woman of the night yeah. just without an umbrella. She's like, la, la, la. <laughs> like dancing in the streets. She walks up to a cop. She's like, hey, cop. And he pushes her away. She's like, la, 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 la. <laughs> That was my favorite character. Yeah. My favorite character. Woman of the Night. <laughs> that, that was Jade. Oh, <laughs> that was the shit. Other angel Jade. <laughs> she, got, she got too drunk and left mm -hmm. the party early. And, and Angela's like, Jade, you're drunk again? I got to leave. God uh, damn it, Jade. You're lucky there's no spawns around here. And like, as she's driving away, she hears them go. So, yeah. God damn it. <laughs> anyway. My boja. <laughs> So yeah, uh, it's, Clown just leaves with two ladies. Yeah. And I like wins just like, when the whole world is mine, I'm going to kill, kill you. you. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't think that's, I don't think that's gonna work. He thinks Might it will. Be. Yeah. Uh, Wanda is doing a presentation about mm -hmm. the virus in North Korea. So wait, Heat 16 was a virus that he was gonna spread across the world. Yeah. And then he's gonna, it was basically gonna open up heaven and hell. Right? It was. Yeah, it was gonna like Lead, send all the souls send, to the respective, yeah. yeah. Start the battle of hell. Earth was still going to die because basically heaven and hell would have used it as like a battleground and everyone would have died so it didn't really matter. Oh, but no, I guess no. They, they, in the movie, they keep saying they're going to heaven to fight. I don't think it's going to work. <laughs> Plus, the I virus mean, is going to take over the fucking world. Well, there's an antidote. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah Wanda's doing a presentation mm -hmm. about like what happened when the thing blew up. Um, Spawn's up there watching her. Spawn's watching like a creep. Mm -hmm. uh, Cyan <laughs> runs and trips and falls. Yeah. And Spawn's like, oh, I remember your mother. I'm going to help you up. Please, Her pussy guys. was golden. <laughs> I don't think he says that to the girl. I feel like that would be a problem. Spawn, um, you can be saying that to your kind of daughter, but not really. <laughs> but then, clown. Yeah. Yeah, you know, it's Cyan's age. Five. Yeah, the movie makes it kind of like, is it Terry? Yeah. Or... How in the in the comics it's very clear it's Terry's because yeah. the H doesn't work out. Mm -hmm. Um so yeah, uh Clown has been watching yes. in a cheerleading outfit. Fun is funny, he's our man. If he can't kill him, no one can. Fine, fine, he's, he's our, our man. man. If he can <laughs> F to the B to the A to the one. <laughs> and that's just wrong fucking the best. <laughs> And I feel like this scene was just added in post. Oh, 100%. Like, just to pad out the movie, because then Malbolgia shows up. Just takes him down to hell. Takes him down to hell and is yelling at him. Yeah. And then we find out, like, Clown, like, and this is, like, a thing in the comics where Violator is pissed. That yeah. He's like, why can't it just be us? Like, yeah. Because he is from hell. He's, mm -hmm. like, born in hell. He's part of the five Fleabeak yeah. brothers. Uh, but it's just, like, he wants to lead the army, mm. and Malbolgia won't let him. He's like, okay, boss, I'll do what you say. You know the names of the five brothers? Uh, you know, yeah, he names them in here. Yeah, but he adds one. It's vibrator. A, he adds vibrator. Yeah, it's a victimizer, <laughs> yeah. a vaporizer. Yeah, he's violator. Yeah, is a vandalizer one of them? Yeah, and then vindicator. Vindicator. Yeah. yeah. I'm not the vindicator or the victimizer or the vaporizer or the vibrator. Um, and vibrator. <laughs> and vibrator. The sixth <laughs> brother. He's in gay. He's in the gay work. He's at the gay store. I'll You're see him soon. Him. You're gonna yeah. meet him. I'm like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, Terry arrives and mm -hmm. grabs Wanda and Cyan. He's mm -hmm. like, we gotta get out of here. Yeah. And then Spaz refuses to leave Al. Yeah. And I like Terry's like, oh, he knows his way home. Like, <laughs> does he? He knows his way home better than us. <laughs> He's like a fucking shit heel biter dog. Yeah. Heel biter dog. He doesn't know how to get home. <laughs> um. So Miko Hughes, Zach, yeah. his dad yeah. is ready to beat him. Mm-hmm. And then Spawn's like, oh, well, I have to murder this guy. Yeah, he does a bad He's guy. like, oh, my God, no, don't murder That's my him, dad. <laughs> um, <laughs> don't hit my dad like he hits me. <laughs> and in between that, uh, Wynn gets the Heat 16 virus mm -hmm. uh, plant inserted in him. Yeah, the pacemaker. Originally, it was, these were going to be like demonic surgeons. Doing oh, really? It. Probably would cool. make more sense. Why would any doctor do this? Yeah, they'd be like. I don't think this is a. Why don't we, why don't we accidentally kill him? Yeah, in exactly. The of this. Doesn't this break our Hippocratic oath? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, and then a uh, clown is watching on a monitor eating yeah. worms and mayonnaise. Yeah, sure. Makes me want to throw <laughs> up. Um, and Cogliostro decides that it's time. Yes. For what? I don't know. Training uh, montage. <laughs> yeah. Uh, clown visits Spawn, mm -hmm. tells him about the plan. Mm -hmm. Spawn's like, I'm not going to lead your army. I changed my mind. Yeah. And Clown's like, I'm sorry. You you what? You cannot change your no. mind. 
Uh, but yeah, he decides to taunt him by torturing Spaz. Yeah. Uh, so he shoots him, and then he turns into the Violator. Yeah. I'm the Violator. And then horrible CGI model. Yeah. His arms bending back. Yeah. And going like that. So his hair is a little different than it is in the comics. Mm -hmm. uh, they added a little tuft of hair at the top, yeah. so it imitates the horns. Yeah, I kind of exactly. like that. I like that. Uh, Violator looks awesome. Yeah, he looks good. This whole scene is awesome. Yeah. This whole fight scene is awesome. And it, it, that is one of the big Spawn lore moments, their first fight. They do it in the cartoon, too. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and uh, he's just beating the shit out of Spawn left yeah. and right. They fall off uh, the cliff. Mm -hmm. he, I like the Violator gets impaled on that electrical yeah. thing. Yeah. And he pulls it out and stuff. Yeah, he pulls yeah. it out. Uh, and then Tom McFarlane shows up. Yeah. He gives Spawn his gun. They made an action figure of Todd's bum character. God. You had to, like, send away for it. It wasn't something you could get in the store. <laughs> hey, Todd, can you make me one of those? Please? <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then even though Spawn just punched Miko Hughes' dad, he yeah. now gets punched by another demon. This guy can't <laughs> stop getting punched by demons. Um so Violator is giant and yet really good at sneaking around. Yeah, exactly. There's moments where he's like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like it's a doom game. <laughs> yeah. The animatronic school too. Yeah. The big puppet. They don't use it too much, but when they do, it's pretty good. Mm -hmm. um, and I guess my one issue is yeah. where, where's his big jaw? But then when he's CGI, they do a thing where like the yeah, jaw extends. extends. Like, oh, that's cool. That's yeah. cool. I feel like this was probably like the first thing they thought of. They were like, this is. What yeah, we want to build up towards. Yeah, and he's got his mask on for most of the yeah, season. Yeah, exactly. Which is fun. Uh, but it doesn't get as violent as the comic where like yeah. the arms are being ripped off mm -hmm. and they're just chopping each other up. Uh, which got uh, so Violator ends up winning. He yeah. ends up crucifying Spawn on the game. Violator one, Spawn Body zero. Boy zero. <laughs> uh, so he tells him to get his shit in gear. Yeah, uh, I like in the cartoon. He's like, "Get with the fucking program." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> uh, he leaves and Cogliastro saves him. Um. Terry ends up making a copy of Wind's plan yeah. on a disc, and he's like got his evidence. Mm -hmm. uh, Miko Hughes' dad died, unfortunately. He's and, gonna become uh, uh, he's okay. gonna become Cygor. Yeah, he's gonna Cygor. <laughs> hey, boy, it's me, your daddy. <laughs> okay, so Miko Hughes, yeah. sad his dad died. Yep. Um, Kagliashro is like, hey man, you need to let go of all this shit about Al Simmons. Mm -hmm. You're not even really Al Simmons anymore. Mm -hmm. Stop it. They're manipulating you. They're trying to get you into their plan. Yep. Stop being an asshole. And he's mm -hmm. like, leave me alone. <laughs> I got shit Wanda. And he's all like, I'm going to shoot him with guns. Uh -huh. And he's like. Where did he get the guns from? Did he steal it from, from the armory and just take it back to the. Yeah, he took it back to the. Okay, place. I guess. Oh, yeah, because yeah, I thought he dropped all those guns during the fight. Yeah, he did. I guess he grabbed the guns, went to the alley, stashed some of them, and brought more with. Okay. We're going with that. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> there's actually a cutscene that he just walks back to the to the party. He's like, <laughs> um, so yeah, Cogliastro's like, I could show you some cool stuff. And mm -hmm. then he does that horrible <laughs> run around him. Oh, uh, yeah. Which looks like the tornado from the mask. Yeah. Um, which and he, he's taught by Houdini, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So they, they changed this from the comics. Yeah. Spawn in the comics learns how to use his powers from Harry Houdini, Houdini. who is actually a time traveling uh, interdimensional mm -hmm. being. He's li Spawn literally dresses up like a chauffeur and drives his magic limo around mm -hmm. the universe. <laughs> but he's the one that teaches him like to use these chains yeah. on purpose. And he's like, yeah, you can preserve energy by mm -hmm. just manipulating the chains. Uh, but to simplify it, they had Cogliostro mm -hmm. do it. Now, what would you have done if the movie screeched to a halt and Harry Houdini, Houdini just came up? <laughs> er, er, hey, hey guys. Uh, Spawn, let me teach you how to use those chains, Houdini? buddy. <laughs> What's he doing here? He's like, are you with heaven or hell? He's like, nah, I'm a different thing. I'm a time traveler. Um, Can you go so yeah, back he... in time and stop this from happening? <laughs> Doesn't worry about that, buddy. I do like when he's teaching him how to use the chains. He tries first, and the little skulls make sad faces. Yeah, yeah I noticed that. He's like, <laughs> um, So yeah, he teaches him how to control his powers, mm -hmm. shoot spikes and stuff. Yep. Um, and then Cogliostro goes, take care of your powers. When you drain them, you die. Yeah. And Spawn should be like, wait, what? <laughs> how much... How much do I have left? How much do I have left? Do I have any Is left? there a counter? What's going on? But then Spawn goes, guess I don't need these. It drops his guns. And Kyle Gosh was like, he's learning. And I wish the kid would be like, but won't they help you reserve energy so you don't <laughs> die? Yeah, exactly. Isn't that the point? <laughs> Think, Al. Think. 
I guess they won in the moment. Where like he's got to rely on his powers. Like, well, they don't introduce the ticking element because exactly. now I'm just like, how much does he have? <laughs> is he allowed to use his powers in hell? Does that not count? Yeah, exactly. He's already he does in the hell. laser eye thing. Is yeah. like that at least brings it down to like one. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so he steals the guy's motorcycle. Uh huh. Like, the guy's like, what the hell? <laughs> uh, and then clown antagonizes him on the way to Wanda's. Yeah. He's driving that truck full of the necro goo. Mm-hmm. Uh, and he's just launching grenade launchers. Terminator 3 copied this. Yes, it mm-hmm. did. It did. Uh, it's Spawn. actually a fun chase. It's a yeah. fun, exciting chase. And then Spawn uses his cape to turn into a super motorcycle. Yeah. But I like that Spawn's head is built into the top yeah. of it. Like, he can't turn it or Even anything. before the motorcycle's colors were Spawn colors. That's pretty <laughs> funny. Um, so I like that it was a Spawn cycle. Yeah. Uh, but he slides and mm. falls. And then, um, what you call it? Clown's coming for him. And he turns into a giant spike. Yeah, spike in the ground. And he blows up the thing. And like, then we have that horrible. <laughs> it looks like Die Hard 2. I'll see you at Wanda's house. <laughs> see you at Wanda's. <laughs> <laughs> So that looks like Die Hard 2, him yeah. flying in the air like Bruce Willis. And then Spawn looks like Terminator 2, where he's like all CGI walking yeah. out of the fire. A mixture of the two worlds. Yeah. Spawn um, so Terry's conspiring with News Lady. Mm-hmm. Uh, and he's just like, I got all the information here. Put it on the news yeah. tonight. Emailing you now. I'll send it to you right now. Now yeah. he also he's talking on a webcam, but doesn't have a webcam. Yeah. So. Also, he touches the screen like it's a touch screen. Like, I don't think. Uh, it's a it's a comic book. It's fine. I don't think that was a touch screen. The future was there. <laughs> uh, but then Wind shows up. He's mm-hmm. taking Wanda and Cyan hostage, and then to stop the files from getting out, he shoots the monitor. Yeah. I don't think that's how that works. He should have shot the motherboard. <laughs> yeah, he probably should have shot the actual computer, yeah, not yeah. the monitor. But yeah. you know, what do I know? <laughs> this is a magic monitor with a built-in it's camera the in the screen, <laughs> and and it's touch screen. There's a weird, there's weird cuts because there's moments where Terry has like a cut on his face, and then it cuts back, and he doesn't have it. Oh, really? It, yeah. I missed that. There's like other scenes in the movie where he has like a cut, <laughs> and he doesn't have the cut later on. Like, was this like a <laughs> fight that happened or something? Like, what happened? Yeah, here? I gotta see what happened there. Yeah. Um. And then Clown says hi mm-hmm. and pops out his eyes like the mask. <laughs> and then he's singing opera, turning his head into a balloon. Yeah. They really got carried away with the clown shit. Yeah. Like, I know they want to give him a lot of screen time. It's like, man, your budget was really big. Did you really need him to turn into a balloon and mm-hmm. sing opera? We couldn't have just some more character development seats. Yeah. Pedro, my biggest regret is that I didn't get more comfortable seats before your last episode. I'm sorry. Yeah, these seats are hurting my ass. Everyone complains. And look. I had to buy new cameras instead. There was a lot of... I had to buy tables for conventions. I really want to get new seats, and the only way I could do that is with more money. Patreon.com. Rumble.com. What? Patreon, Rumble. Rumble. I don't know if you still... You're not allowed to say that on YouTube. Oh, you can't? Yeah. Cut it out. (laughs) Bleep it out. Uh, Yes. uh, You book me on Cameo. Cameo. Book me on Cameo. Buy his merch. Buy the merch at the RetroWare store. All these fun things you can do, and I can finally get... Good seats. Twitch? Yes, Twitch, but not for Pedro, because this is his last episode. I don't have Twitch. Okay, good job, Pedro. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll plug more of that yeah. stuff at the end. Okay, Spawn arrives, and he finds Wanda. Mm-hmm. The magical fireplace that is the gate to hell, and also <laughs> a gate to other dimensions, I guess, because then a Wanda yeah. and a giant demonic thing comes out. Yeah. And Wynn must have also been in the fireplace. <sighs> what the fuck is this fireplace? Anyway, he's all like, He's like, I'm going to kill her if you don't join Hell's yeah. army. He doesn't even give Spawn really a chance to no. answer. He's like, meh. Yeah. Oh, too late. Sorry, I already so did he it. kills her. <laughs> he kills her. Um, and Spawn's like, no, Wanda. <laughs> Wanda. Yeah. And uh, he's like, all right, I'm going to finally kill you. So he's throwing mm-hmm. him in there. He sees uh, Terry and Cyan uh, tied up. Yeah. And he's like, I've got nothing left. I'm going to. Terry's got a ball gag in his mouth. Yeah, I I noticed the ball gag. I'm like, where'd that come from? Yeah, exactly. I'm like, where'd you get that? Uh, That's probably clown. Yeah. Uh, But yeah, so he's ready to kill Wynn. Even though Wynn's like, I I have a virus. He's Mm -hmm. like, I got nothing else to lose. But then, you know, he sees Cyan. Uh He's like, I can't kill her. But I like that right before he's killing her. Again, the fireplace portal yeah. opens up, and it's about bulls are going like, oh, shit, he's going to do it. We're about to get heavy. <laughs> and then Spawn changes his mind. Yeah. Because he doesn't want to kill Cyan. But then, so this next part was mm-hmm. added in post. Oh, really? 
of him x-raying win okay and then zapping the thing because you notice he's just staying still the whole time because mm -hmm. they didn't want to reshoot anything yeah so they just held on that image of him like used a lot of that image of him holding his head mm -hmm. and they added lasers so he destroys the device they decided to destroy the device in post mm -hmm. but now it's a problem because it's like well now you can kill win yeah exactly also, destroying the device, does that not trigger the bomb? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why they felt like adding that. That would have been a cool thing to keep Spawn in line. Like, mm -hmm. you technically can't kill him. It'd be a problem. Uh, yeah, that was bizarre. I would yeah. not have added that scene, especially since it's just Spawn sitting there for five minutes with digital effects all yeah. around him. Uh. Um, so that threat is done. Mm -hmm. uh, and it turns out Wanda was really the clown. Oh, snap, crackle. Pop. And credit to this actress. Yeah. Isn't she the one from uh, Independent Day? Isn't that? No. No, no it's not? Oh, it's, I thought she was the whole time. You know, that's the most offensive thing. That's done. not a race thing. Yeah, she looked just you, like her because she was sexy. No, no. Oh, oh, okay. I guess all sexy women look alike. Yes. <laughs> this is your last episode. I... That's why I'm going to the gay place in Alaska. You're going to learn. You're going to learn at the gay factory Everyone's how to be a person. I, think, I hope you build some character there. It's going to be my clockwork orange. <laughs> anyway. So, yeah. Uh, she shows up. And credit to this actor. She mm -hmm. is actually doing a good job sounding like the clown. Yeah. Like do it, mimicking how he talks and everything. I think She's her been name pretty bland this whole movie. You pansy bacon Chris. I think her name's Teresa Randall. I think I so. Her. Uh, which, yeah, Vivica Fox was in Independence Day. All right, well, and Independence Day too. Remember, she yeah. becomes like a nurse. <laughs> yeah, or something. She was a stripper in the first one. Anyway, yeah. um, you shoot fifty fifty percent of the shots you don't make. All right, <laughs> I'm just human. All right. Uh, so yeah, she's like uh, beating the shit out of Spawn. Yeah, slits his throat almost kills him. Yeah, but you know, needs him around to do the whole army thing. Uh, but then the real Wanda shows up. Mm -hmm. And he uh, shoots his big tongue out at her. And Cogliostro shows up. Everyone's just showing up at the end. It's like Smash Brothers. Everyone's here. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and he fights. He, like, uh, stabs the clown. Yeah. The clown's like, ah, Cogliostro! And jumps <laughs> into the fireplace. Yeah. Now, <laughs> this whole thing was ad and impost. Originally, the room was going to become, like, a hellish room. Like, hell oh, okay. was taking over the room, and they okay. were going to fight. That would have been cooler. <laughs> but then they had the idea. To maybe to set the whole ending in hell to yeah. really show off their special effects. And they were given an extra million dollars, but they had, I, if I remember right, they were given more money, but they had to do it in less time. So they lost production days. Oh, okay. So they filmed in just one studio, all blue green screen and did this whole thing. I couldn't tell. Look great. And again, Cogliastro, for this scene, I would have changed it to where he was the medieval spawn because he's just wearing yeah. like a knight outfit yeah, and it's exactly. just not as cool. Like, you should have just done like a giant, like, I guess for that time, yeah. a pretty bad CGI battle, but. Yeah, but I mean, like, you got a medieval spawn character right in front of you. Yeah, this one? Yeah. Yeah. Like, how cool would it be if he was dressed like that yeah, with exactly. spawn? Yeah, exactly. Because so the medieval the medieval spawn in the comic was actually kind of fun because yeah. it's a story Violator's telling about a previous spawn. Yeah, uh, but Violator's keeps telling the story that he's the hero, but we <laughs> see that he's really the dick. Yeah. Oh, um, <laughs> but yeah, I because we don't really know much about him. I'm sure there is like a whole medieval spawn uh, arc right I now. I think so. You like that spawn battle horse? Yeah, he's cool actually. Um, yeah, so I would have changed it to Cagliostro. It was just him. yeah, would have made more sense. So, yeah, it's weird that, like, there's all the CGI nonsense and he's a spawn and then it's just a knight <laughs> walking yeah, exactly. around. There's a blockbuster movie actor. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> whoa, what did you do? My phone. Oh, no. That's fine. Okay. It's a Samsung phone, oh. baby. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, so is mine. Look at that. But I have to get a new one. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're a uh, big screen bro, right? Nice big screen bro. How yeah. long have you had that one? Uh... Four years? Since 2020, right? Three years. Yours still works? Yeah, mine still works. Eh? Well, I mean, to be fair, mine worked up until a few months ago. I love it. I want to get a new one. Oh, yeah. Um, anyway, so Clown brings them to hell. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. Yeah. Uh, and they all start fighting. They all mm -hmm. take turns fighting uh, Violator. He does. Uh, he grabs a uh, Cagliostro, and he's like, ah! Yeah, he's like, ah! <laughs> All choppy. Yeah, stuff. exactly. I'm like, oh, oh my he throws, god! He throws spawn through like ten meteorites. Yeah. 
Um, yeah, so they they fight the violator. He ends up stabbing him in the neck, and he yeah. like disappears. Uh, then Malbolgia says hi. Yeah, and he's like, "You fucker, <laughs> you better lead my army. They're all here. They're all copy and paste, and they look like stop motion." And then Spawn's like, "Never, I will never lead your army." Yeah. And he's like, "Bring me Spawn's head." And then he shoots lasers at yeah. all of them. And there's like one guy like doing the wave and shit. Yeah, I do like I do like it goes through two people. And they're like, "Oh!" <laughs> they're like, "Do your do your strangest one." <laughs> So he kills as many of them as he can. He grabs yeah. Kagadasha and he rocket ships out of there. Yeah. And I like I like Malbolgia going, You will never escape me, literally as, he as he's escaping him. <laughs> he's like, I should have said that sooner. <laughs> Is Malbolgia not able to turn off the fire tunnel? I guess he's not able to close the portal. I guess not. As a king of the world. maybe hells. it maybe it meant you can never escape your fate. Uh, yeah, I guess. But They'll I wouldn't come have back had to that, me. I wouldn't have that line over a video of him. Failing to grab, grab Spawn him. as he escapes. Yeah, I'd be like, you'll never escape your fate or something. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. Also, can Malbolgia just not go up there and fight yeah, why them? Why doesn't Malbolgia go up to? He did it in the comics. He, he came up in the to comics. Just go and start your Which shit I think that was a mistake. They should have had a thing where Malbolgia was like stuck in hell. Oh, that 100%. That makes a little bit more sense. He needs a certain amount of like people down in hell. Hell yeah. wants to start his battle yeah. or something like that. Um. So yeah, uh, I don't know why they went with this big CGI ending. Yeah. I wouldn't have done it. Although there were some cool moments where, like, where he's trying to like Scorpion sting Kagliastro, but Spawn like uh, has his chains restricting yeah. him. Uh, but yeah, they make it back to Earth. Yeah. Um, he, which we got. Uh, they all they're all sitting there, and then Miko Hughes just knows where Al lives, and he yeah, brings Spaz I guess back. Spaz was Spaz was leading him back home. Oh, that's yeah. what happened. Yeah. Okay. Also, Spaz got kicked by Violator. Yeah, he did. That dog's dead. That dog's <laughs> Oh, 100%. Miko Hughes went to like a pound and grabbed a dog <laughs> that just looked like him. Um, yeah, well, his dad worked in the morgue, so I guess. Yeah. So everyone's all happy. And right away, you're like, well, obviously, Spawn's going to talk to Wanda. Yeah. That's been his whole He's gonna thing. He's going to have a reconcile moment. Yeah, but no. No. Violator sneaks into the room and comes out of the wall. This used to be a play set they sold the little oh, minute. Oh, really? So they sold miniature sets that were scenes from the movie, mm -hmm. and they had one with a miniature spawn with the spikes, and the violator was coming out of the wall. Oh, that's cool. Um, yeah, I always wanted that one. Uh, but this is cool. But yeah, so he comes out of the wall, he grabs him. And it's cool seeing him in the room. Again, yeah. the violator is the best CGI in the movie. Yeah. They like they nailed the violator. They fucked up everything else. I feel like the violator was like the main antagonist, but they're like, we, but Todd McFarlane was like, we got to have Malbolgia or something. Uh, yeah. It's like, eh, could we have like his voice? Maybe glimpses? Yeah. Like, now you got to show the whole thing because I'm making a toy for him. Yeah, exactly. Well, that was the thing. He like, did I mention that earlier? He, he sold the film rights for $1. Because he wanted creative input and he wanted exclusive merchandise rights, which actually probably benefited him. Yeah, really. Yes. Because again, this movie wasn't like huge, yeah. but it introduced a bunch of kids like me into the toys and, me. and whatnot. So it worked. It yeah. worked. Um, so yeah, Violator is fighting him. Mm -hmm. uh, then Kagash was like, Use your armor. Uh, <laughs> Use your armor, Spawn. He shoots the spikes out of his head and makes like a chainsaw with his chains and rips his head yeah, off. Rips his head off. Uh, and it is funny when you listen to the commentary track. Yeah. Tom McFarlane's on the commentary track. Oh boy! <laughs> and he tells like most of the times creators will be like, "Oh, I didn't like the changes they made. I didn't mm. like that." And Tom McFarlane's like, "Look, instead of the blood, we made it green, so it's all wacky." And he's making jokes so the kids don't get scared. <laughs> And it's like, he literally was like, oh yeah, water down my stuff. I got to sell toys. I don't care about the story I made. Uh, you can change the characters just as oh, long as it sells more merch. Um, but yeah, I like that the clown is still intimidating them. Yeah. As he, as just, he's like, I'll gnaw you to death. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Wanda, you want to yeah. be with the room? <laughs> hey, uh, hey, Wanda, you want a little head? <laughs> uh, but yeah, he gets sent back to hell. Mm -hmm. And Spawn's like, tell your boss I'm coming yeah. for him next. It's like, can you just not go into the fireplace? Yeah, go back into the fire. Go, it's portal. How it's does like anyone live there afterwards? <laughs> like, I don't ever want to go near the yeah, fireplace exactly. ever again. Can we destroy this fireplace? <laughs> Um, is it in the comics he keeps uh, the Violator's head on a pike now? Uh, After he, he uh, kills him, technically? Recent comic? I couldn't tell you anything. No, this was like early in the comic run. Like, I think it was like 40 or 60 or something like that. Like, he has his head on a pike. The Violator's? Yeah, like uh, the Violator. The clown. He keeps his head on a pike. I don't remember that. Oh, yeah. It's like one of uh, Spawn's uh, opening animations in the co in uh, MK. He what what issue did you say? Like 40-something? <laughs> 13 to 33. 
34 to 54. Okay. Oh, I just saw Savage Dragon. Oh, yeah. There's a crossover <laughs> with that, yeah. Uh, there's a crossover everywhere. But I remember vividly. Someone could YouTube comments, Patreon, someone. Quote me on this. He has yeah. his head on a pike. You know, clown's still hanging around here. Okay. Interesting. He's fighting other demons. He Because okay. uh, around this time is when he goes to hell, like, the first time to fight a bunch of people. Okay. Face Malbolgia. Okay. Maybe he does. I just don't yeah, think Yeah, maybe it later on. Uh, yeah, I think that's I something that happens later yeah. on. I don't think it happens that early in the comics. Yeah. Um. Anyway. Well, all my credibility is destroyed. <laughs> I know he definitely cuts off Malbolgia's head. Yeah, of and, course. Yeah. During that like whole arc, I think it was like the hundredth issue or something. Yeah. Um, yeah. Every hundred issues, he always does something big. Yeah. Pedro is half right. It is true that in issue sixty, Spawn battled the clown slash violator and rescued Cyan from him. In that battle, the clown does get his head cut off. Spawn does put his head on a pike, but it's in his burnt clown form, not his violator form. And it's there for a bunch of issues, actually. Uh, so yes. Pedro was half right. He just got the form of the monster wrong. Way to go, Pedro. Uh, so, yeah, he uh, he saves the day, mm -hmm. and he has no scenes with Wanda. No. Not one. Nope. Not even, like, a moment where they look at each other and have a moment of understanding. Nope. No forgiveness for Terry. Nope. Like, there's a whole thing in the comic where he reveals who he is, and he, like, hugs Terry. Mm -hmm. and nothing. Nope. Nothing like that in nope. this. Uh, but, you know, what we do get... Sam and Twitch. Sam and Twitch. I have their figures right there. The Sam boys. And, <laughs> Sam and Twitch, the two detectives show up to arrest Win. <laughs> you can there. be Sam, I'll be Twitch. <laughs> uh, yeah, there they are. Yeah. Apparently the sequel is going to be from their point of view. Okay, that would have been cool. And I think because Tom McFarlane showed a little bit of the script he was writing uh -huh. and there were like Sam and Twitch scenes. Okay. So I think we we're going to go heavy on Sam and Twitch. Okay. Because they're pretty big in the cartoon. Yeah. Um, although Sam is basically Harvey Bullock. Yeah, exactly. Basically Harvey. And Twitch kind of looks like Commissioner Gordon a little bit. It's a little on the nose. Yeah. Um, but I'm glad they were thrown in there a little bit. Also, I like how one of their accessories is a donut. <laughs> yeah. I forgot to mention, deep reference here. Hold on, can I find it? Maybe I'll look for an image for it. But uh, Violator's jacket, that smiley face. Yeah. A smiley face is like a weird reference because there's uh, in the comics, there's like a peep show that people go to. Oh. And like that's their eyes peeking out. Okay. And the outside is like a smiley face and Spawn like kills like a dude in there. Oh, okay. Uh, but it was just a weird reference to that one issue. I'm like, why does he have a pin of that? That's so bizarre. Todd McFarlane was like, this is going to be big. I'm going to make a toy off it and then it's going to have the pin. It's going to be so messy, <laughs> man. <laughs> Everyone's like, what the um, fuck are you talking about? <laughs> yeah. And then the movie ends with Spawn showing off yeah. in front of the no one, actually. They're like, this is going to be a big wallpaper later yeah. in life. <laughs> He's showing off his cape, and it's like, the forces of evil have been stopped for now. Yeah. And Spawn's like, I'm Spawn! <laughs> Would have been cool if he jumped at the camera. Like, yeah. Spawn! <laughs> and then the end credits happen. Yeah. We're all like, uh, I still enjoy this movie. Yeah, I, had a, I was like... Oof, this is a uh, if you if you have a kid yeah and they're in like I've, I said this before um if you have a kid who's into horror mm -hmm. stuff and superheroes and the the comics are a little wordy for mm -hmm. them if they're young like I can get through these now but if I was a kid reading these early issues I'd be like what are they um and the cartoon is definitely too mature for me. oh 100 percent I watched the cartoon as a kid and I should not oh have yeah the cartoon as a kid um. <laughs> This is a good introduction to that world. Like, hey, if you mm -hmm. like horror and superheroes and flashy action, you should check this out. Mm -hmm. uh, other than that, you don't really need to watch it. No. It's a fun, if you like Spawn, if you're like a big Spawn guy like me, it's a fun moment yeah. in Spawn history. Um, I still, I'm very nostalgic for it. I realize I'm more nostalgic for it than mm -hmm. I realize it's a good movie. Uh, but I have fun with it. Yeah, I agree. It's a good time. Mm -hmm. It's a good time. I think it's old. Ironically, it is. Sort of accurate to the comics. Yeah, it hits you with like all the stuff, like yeah, the characters. Yeah, with it was its own twist, I'd say. Like yes, it tries to super condense yeah, the story, exactly. uh, and speeds things up mm -hmm. more than I would like. But uh, yeah, even like the little Easter eggs are fun. Yeah, and I feel like the MCU took a lot from that. Just oh, like, yeah. hey, let's drop little Easter eggs without lingering mm -hmm. on them. Uh, but yeah, overall, I think it's a fun, goofy time. Mm -hmm. I don't know anyone who actually hates this movie. Michael J. White. 
Michael Shaw White. I, I can see why maybe he hates it. But like anyone yeah. who watches it, like that, you know, like that was either really stupid, yeah. that was good, that was bad, but enjoyable. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, and I would say check out the Spawn comics. Um, mm -hmm. Again, if you can get through those early ones, they get pretty good for a bit. Mm -hmm. Maybe jump off after Malbolgia dies. Yeah. Um, actually 100. Yeah, it's but. It's uh, becoming like really like. <laughs> yeah, it gets. Like Spawn literally like kills the universe and then brings the universe back but gives them all memories that they yeah. were dead yeah so they have to like fix the, it gets really it weird the god of hell and heaven and stuff yeah and gets, wasn't there like, like a that. story arc where he just doesn't have a head for yeah a yeah that was weird yeah, um, a, it gets really like it's like oh this is maybe one day i'll read them all maybe i'll keep collecting all the volumes yeah maybe see where it goes um, maybe I'll get some of the spinoff comics like uh, Sam and Twitch and I know uh, Violator had his own story Yeah, I think there's arc. a Cowboy Spawn spinoff one. I know there's definitely a toy, but yeah, yeah, maybe I'll check it out. That's one way you can go, just show the previous Hell Spawns. Yeah, exactly. And Angel like just I feel him. like I feel like he shouldn't be doing he should do like an HBO Max series again, like Well they want I don't he, they were they they canceled the fourth season. Yeah. And then he was doing like a follow up called Spawn the Animation, but it, okay. Keith David was coming back. I don't know if it was a continuation of that. Okay. The animation style was completely different. It you know looked who, more who action gonna... kid oriented. Okay. Um, it's all chibi and stuff. It's like <laughs> yeah, but like season three ended on a cliffhanger okay. where he pretended to be Terry to sleep with Wanda, and she gets pregnant. That's some Wonder Woman nineteen eighty four shit. <laughs> yeah. But I think, because in the comics, I think her kids end up being God and Satan, like, reincarnated. Oh, okay. Or at least that was going to be the idea mm. for the show. I would love just one more animated movie. Yeah. Or a season. That I would feel be like that would be, like, the best way to get it out. Like, yeah. Because, obviously, Jamie Foxx, he's not. He's, yeah. What he's doing right now, like, he's sick and stuff. And he's, Yeah, Keith David's still around. Keith voice still kicking. Can still voice it. I, 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 more than anything, I'd like a proper finale to the show. Even then, like, if... Keith David, God forbid, doesn't want to do it. You can get like an actor like Coleman Domingo, who's yeah. uh, a great voice actor too. Yeah, anyone. Yeah. Um, but yeah, just I want to see some continue. I want to mm -hmm. see something happen with Spawn. Uh, Spawn. Uh, Mortal Kombat 11 was a good start. I'd love a new video game. Spawn, Spawn Armageddon's good. Yeah, I've always had like I've always been talking to my friends like about like roguelites, like a Spawn roguelite, mm. like where he like every time he dies he restarts at the beginning and he has to. Win That'd his be cool. Way. Like and that's, again. Go back and watch that Spawn AVGN episode yeah. where I had to play all those games. Oh, gosh. That P that play looking at that PlayStation One game gives me nightmares because I all I wanted to do was play that game as a kid and I rented it from Blockbuster and I'm like this game is terrible, and then having to play it for AVGN I'm like oh my god this game is so bad. <laughs> oh gosh, this was done in house and everything. This is yep, like, oh yep. God. Uh, but yeah, Pedro. Yo, I'm really gonna miss you, buddy. Yeah, man. I'm really, really going to miss you. Uh, it's been so many episodes. A lot of people think you're the lifeblood of Hack the Movies. Some say I'm the the balls. <laughs> yes, but on the on the totem po pole of uh, Hack the Movies guests, I mean, obviously Mint Salad. Yeah, she's number one. No one will argue with that. Then Crystal, Johanna. No, 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 no. no, 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 no not that. Mint Salad. Oh. Pedro. When I see when I see Johanna, I'm like, this is going to be a good episode. When I see Crystal, it's going to be a good episode. No one ever says that. Pedro. <laughs> Manny Muskets, obviously. Oh, yeah. uh, then, you know, she was Are we only... just talking about autistic people, or... Speaking of which, she was only ever one episode with Josie from Fish Tank. True, true, true. <laughs> I did that accidentally, but I realized, like, oh, yeah, I guess I'm just doing that. <laughs> uh, but, no, I, I had really fun with you being part of the show. Yeah. I'm sad to see you go, yep. but I'm excited for your future at the Gay Factory yep. in Alaska. Yeah. Ram Ranch. Uh, Alaska Ram Ranch. <laughs> 18 naked cowboys <laughs> <laughs> at the Ram Ranch. And, uh, yeah, that is it from us. We finally did it, the Spawn Review. Now I got to take all these spawns down and set the store yep. back up. <laughs> Reset it. That's great. Oh, so much fun. Woo. Uh, that is it from us. Please like, share, and subscribe. Go back and check out the spawn stuff I did on Cinemasker. Um... Oh, and I have a Spawn commentary track I did a long time ago, like pre-podcast. Ah. I did a Spawn commentary track. It's just me. Yeah. Probably should do a new one. No. Uh, <laughs> but Watching yeah, go it. back and check that out. Let me know if what you think of Spawn. Do you like it? Also, because this is the last episode, please, in the comments, leave like your favorite Pedro memory. Yeah. Like, what was your favorite Pedro episode? Yeah. Some of the jokes that he made. Or even, even, even then. Just name mentioned, like, if you see a movie with a guy named Pedro, you could say that was your favorite moment. It doesn't yes. even have to be me. 
Yes, Napoleon Dynamite. No, please don't. Anything but that, please. <laughs> Anything but Napoleon Dynamite. You have no idea. Uh, but yes, like, share, subscribe, and we'll see you later. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Check out our other videos and Patreon page. Talk, talk, talking, talking about tapes.